Guys, 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 I need to draw your attention immediately to a specific thing that I actually called. Also, what's up, guys? Uh, the trailer was fantastic, but I need to actually point a thing out here, guys. Where are the weapon? I called that I called that weapon out for like eight months, I think. Like eight months before the DLC trailer actually popped. I need to find it now. Here we go. Uh how is the sound actually? Probably should be fine like this. Guys, guys. Feet weapons! Did you see that? We actually have goddamn feet weapons. We actually have feet weapons in an Elden Ring game. Like what the fuck, Miyazaki? Do you see that shit? Like there is this is not a this is not a fist weapon, this is a feet weapon, guys. What's up guys? How's everybody doing today, by the way? Okay, uh, yeah, the, the, the trailer was pog, guys, honestly. Like, it was actually absolutely insane. Sekiro? I don't actually know. Yeah, but actually, I, I was actually told this by another streamer, that there was a rumor that feet weapons might be added in the DLC, and they actually are added in the DLC, which is just insane. But yeah, this is gonna be interesting to play. But, uh, oh, crossbows are also nice. Well, let me actually just rewatch the entire trailer, guys, honestly. Like, I actually want to just rewatch it entirely again because I need to actually see. Uh, Door Nob, thanks for the follow, man. Looks like Senpo Leaping Kick, maybe, yeah, kind of. It looks kind of like that, yeah. But, uh, we will beat Elden Ring with feet 100%. <laughs> that is gonna happen. <laughs> But the trailer looks interesting, like, it, 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 it gives me the feeling of, like, also why is Havel here? It gives me the feeling of, like, uh, of uh, Tears of the Kingdom. So the map might be the same, but everything on the map might be different. Elden Ring is unbelievably good. I think after the DLC, Elden Ring might be the best game ever created. The DLC, the trailer looks so fire, it, it looks so interesting. Like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> what is that? Are we going black in Bloodborne? Young Rykart. Also, this boss fight is very weird. I don't know what to think about this one. I just shield myself? Why? The, the only one thing that I'm interested in... Okay, this has to be Mikela, right? This has to be Mikela, guys, right? What else could this be than Mikela? He has, he has red hair. Also, we have throwing knives as a weapon. Perfect for my build that I prepared. That I prepared eight months in advance. Feet weapons, I guess. Feet weapons. This looks like... Hey, okay, guys. Okay. This, to me, looks like Tears of the Kingdom situation. We are going to have a DLC in the entire map of Eldering. I think that's going to happen. We are going to have new areas as well, probably. But I think the entire world is just going to be, like, transported backwards or forwards into time. Or into Mikola's version of the world. Something like that. I know Mikola is blonde, but Mikola... Sh if Radagon is Marika and Ra Marika is Radagon, they are both blonde and red-haired, right? So he can also be red-haired. Maybe Mikola has two phases or two forms. Maybe Mikola in the real world or in the, in the, in the original world is blonde, but in his dream he's red-haired. Has to be Mikola, there's nothing else that can be. Mikola is in the end of the trailer, is he? Did I actually miss that? Who the hell is this? Also, what is this? This is a Monster Hunter enemy, Miyazaki. Why are we ripping off Monster Hunter now? What the fuck is this shit? Like, do I really need to be molested by more animals in the animal kingdom? We have lobsters, crabs, rats, dogs, wolves. Now I need to get molested by a goddamn... Uh, what's it called? I forgot what, what the animal is called, guys. Might be young, right, card? Nah. That, that, that wouldn't make any sense. We are definitely entering Mikola's dream. Hippo, yeah, thank you. The goddamn hippos, guys. Uh, er, er tree hippos, by the way. The fuck is that? This has to be Mikola. There's no way that this is, this is no way that this isn't Mikola. That is the son of the oh, the Glomite Queen. You say? Could be. She did. She, it, it does seem like the power of death and death is here as well. Come now. Mikola's shadow. Honestly, guys, May we meet again. it could be fucking Miyazaki himself at this point. Like, I have, I have zero clue. 
people with multiple horns, yeah. Yeah, but I'm actually... Okay, this is Mikola, definitely, yeah. This is 100% Mikola. But who the fuck is this guy? I, I, I'm waiting for a 30-minute explanation of Ati Vidya by who the hell is this guy. Honestly, might be Rikar, there is a snake around him. Could be anything, guys, honestly. Like, could be fucking anything, guys. Could be absolutely anything at this point. Seriously, could be anything. This much quality? Oh my god, we're gonna get another game, guys. Like, okay. I, I, I'll predict it immediately. Like, the Elder Ring DLC is going to be better than 99.9% .9 of games that are going to be released in that sort of time period. And, uh... Yeah. I have nothing else to say. Looks goddamn amazing. I love it. Let's do the convergence mod. The convergence mod... Yeah, that's the end of the video, yeah. There is no more, like, details that are actually shown. But they've shown way too much. They've shown enemies, weapons, locales, story a little bit. We don't have a good time, guys. We don't have a very good time. Mm. Are you an epic fellow? Am I an epic fellow? I don't know. <laughs> you judge that. <laughs> yeah, it might be, it might solo 2000, like, 24. I actually agree with that. We have to wait four months. Uh, here is a good thing for you guys if you don't like waiting four months. Uh, Dragon's Dogma is releasing very, very soon. That is gonna keep your attention until the Elder Ring DLC drops, guys. Is it worth that price? $28? Uh, respect, you don't need to buy it. Like, I will definitely buy it, I will play it, and I will give my opinion on if it's worth the money. So if you... I'm, I'm pre-ordering I'm pre it immediately after the stream because I know I will like it. But I can't tell you if it's worth it until I play it. Like, there's no way to do it. For, for me, every DLC that From Software has released was worth it, besides Ashes of Ariandel. I think Ashes of Ariandel was a little bit uh, sadge, but everything else was fucking fire. Like, I can't complain about anything else. How much is it? I didn't even see it. I, I honestly don't look at the price. <laughs> Alright. I will talk about the DLC predictions more, don't worry about it. I actually need to figure out what I want to play. Last time I played... The hell did I play last time? Uh, what the fuck? Where is my class that I played? They did definitely change things around here at the beginning. Ah, this one. I played this one the last time. I played around a little bit with that one as well. The wind class I played in DS3. Once I get payment. Thankfully, I have the money to pre order the DLC. I might actually go Deathblight. Guys, what do you what do you want? What do you what do you want to see to Ooh, bleed? Is this bleed, guys? We are going bleed. No, oh, this is aberrant. Oh, uh, decisions. Mm. Dude, Hunter, what's up? Please play Godskin, Blood. Uh, honestly, like, we, I'm gonna replay Convergence mode multiple times. Uh, we are going to Morn Castle, by the way, immediately, because I know there is going to be interesting things over there. This is Bleed 100%. Why does he have the pure... Okay, I need to go for this guy, guys. I played with the Godskin. The Godskin actually isn't that interesting, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. The Godskin isn't all that interesting. I love how this guy has a ball and chain. Wait, this guy is actually tied to a prison. This is cool. Uh, let's go with this guy. I actually like bleed spells. Wait. I actually like bleed spells immediately. Uh, Mo uh, Jr. And next time you're gonna do something else, guys. Like, th th this thing is still an alpha version. There's going to be, like, probably, like, one, two more years before this gets finished. So we're gonna replay it a lot. A lot. The bad thing about this mod is that the enemies you fight are resistant to your damage type. The bad thing about this mod is that the is that all the enemies you fight are resistant to your damage type. What is the what is bad about that? I mean, honestly, if they are resistant to bleed, I can't complain. Bleed is kind of broken. Also, are my templates actually saved here? Let me check. Nope. Alright, let's start this. I need to check what the updates are. I'm very cool. Thank you, Devin. You are very cool as well. Hmm. Alright, uh, so the DLC release date is June something, right? June, 21st of June or something like that. What do I do until four months? Uh, Lord Vader, thanks for uh, joining in, man. <clears throat> if you use rock and poison class, the stuff is barely works. I, uh, bear in mind that Kamai, like, the, 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 this mod is still alpha version. It is very early alpha. They are, like, they are doing little by little making the mod. Lies of Peace Sekiro version? 
I like how we are spawning in over here. This is probably my, one of my favorite parts about the convergence mode. Uh, that we spawn immediately into locate. Oh yeah, I reinstalled Elden Ring, I forgot. Also, why is my controller not changing to... Let's try this. Okay, for some reason, the controls are getting fucked up, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, why do I have two pure blood? I will not complain. Did I ever try going Super Saiyan as a kid? I mean, which kid has not tried that, honestly? <laughs> this mod is crazy. Yeah, it's getting even better. Again, this mod is in alpha, guys. This is barely done. This is only at the beginning. Like, play the Convergence mod from DS3, and you'll see what I mean. Like, uh, is anything changed immediately, or am I going crazy? I think I might just be going a little bit crazy. Why is the folly... What the hell is this? Okay. The, you know what I noticed when I installing the, the Convergence mod? The Convergence mod seems to be, like, uh, removing a lot of the, like, stuttering issues I have with Elden Ring. I don't know if they intended that or they, they did it by on, on a, like, accident, but... Ah, fucking green. Uh, maybe just reinstall the Elden Ring and now it like, works better. I tried becoming Super Saiyan this morning, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I actually... Uh, to use to learn several novice. Uh, uh, uh. I needed to reinstall Elden Ring today because I was actually modding it myself and unpacked all of the files and it doubled its size and then screwed everything up. It was actually a mess. Alright, let's check out the spells. The guy with the red hair is Rikard because of the red hair and snakes. Do you know how many times we predicted something for like the DLCs of From Software and then went completely wrong on that? Just because a guy looks like Rikard? Doesn't mean he is Raikard. Just doesn't mean it. He could be fucking Miyazaki, like literally. He could be named Miyazaki in the game. <clears throat> but yeah, the snake thing is definitely suspicious. Looks very suspicious like Raikard. But it wouldn't make sense. Raikard is dead. We killed Raikard. Though this might be a younger Raikard. Huh. Now I have a theory, guys. Immediately I'm coming up with theories. Like, uh... What if we go back to in, t in time in Mikola's dream and we get to a point in Rikard's uh, version where he isn't fully consumed by the snake or he doesn't actually transform into the snake. He might just be like combined just a little bit with the snake. Could be interesting. Uh, continue a stream of blood into you. Blood seeker. Let's actually try out all of this. Uh, stone takes a follow. But why do I have two casting seals? Okay, you crab are going to be my... That's much faster. The fuck is that? <laughs> Why am I channeling? What is Bloodseeker? Bloodseeker is... It's actually kind of cool. Plus bleed. I like it. The portrait in the trailer is sus. I need to actually check out the portrait again. I'm gonna rewatch the trailer a couple more times, I think. Definitely gonna check it out a couple more times. Uh, do we have the note on where to go? We didn't get it. Let me actually go back here. I think... I think I should have gotten a note on where to go, but I do appear not to have it for some reason. Is her sealed state? Maybe. It heals you? Oh, nice. Start a new curse. Hmm. Elden Ring DLC mode time, yeah. Huh. It's gonna be very interesting, guys. Uh, I'm actually very excited. I was expecting, honestly, much less. I was expecting a trailer that would showcase much, much less. But it showcased so many goddamn things. Like, uh, I don't even know where to start on theorizing. Like, I seriously don't have any clue. It's on the last page? Ah, oh, I'm an idiot, excuse me. Path of the Blood Initiate, Weapons of the... Ooh, we have Weapons of the Blood Initiate. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Reduvia found out the Blood of Energy, Surgeons, Kettling, the Second Church of America, and Altus, Bloody Hellis. After defeating Morgoth. Uh, Mogvin Sensor, what the fuck is that? Found on a corpse, Dung Eater. I want to find the Surgeons, Kettlinger, Second Church of America, and Altus. Can we go immediately to Altus? We can just go... Okay, let's go to... 
Let's go back to... Wait, can we even go back there? No, 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 we need to go to the Urchi, right? We can teleport from anywhere when we get to an Urchi, right? So let's go immediately to an Urchi. Uh, what's up, Stan? How are you doing today? By the way, guys, uh, like the stream. Helps out a lot. Even though today is a very chill stream. I wanted to take a break a little bit. <clears throat> you should get a War Scythe new weapon. Oh, where do we get the War Scythe again? I want, to, I want to find a couple of weapons so I can play around with them. War Scythe, War Scythe. What is Bouquet? What is the War Scythe? I'll get the Catlinger for now and we'll see. Do all the spells? Yeah, all the spells come in like bundles, yeah. It's actually kind of better. Why is Elden Ring not lagging anymore for me? I, I, I really don't understand how this game performs. I, I sincerely do not understand. For some reason... When I play it with the Convergence mod, it doesn't lag at all for me. At all. But when I play it normally, it lags the crap. So I'm just sincerely confused. Like, honestly. Yeah, the DLC trailer was great. It was fucking amazing. RMDN, what's up? Uh, also, guys, did you like the new video? That I posted yesterday, the strength only one. Optimization? Maybe. Maybe maybe the Convergence mode optimizes things better. Uh, can trees bleed? I highly doubt it. Should not probably die to a goddamn tree. Okay, what are we applying there? Okay, now the game is lagging a little bit. Now I can see it. This guy should not be that difficult to beat, right? We are doing fire damage. I forgot about that. Fire damage is kind of good against trees, right? But it's gonna take a while because we started with a goddamn dagger, and daggers are sucky. And wood bleed, but wood technically has blood. <laughs> Why miss the trailer? I did not miss the trailer, man. I just don't like watching, like... I wanted to watch the trailer for myself first because uh, it conserves the experience for me. But that, the fact that we are getting feet weapons in the DLC just makes me so happy. <laughs> Feet weapons are gonna be... Oh, yeah. That's the way to do it. Feet weapons are gonna be pop, guys. And we have a throwing dagger weapon, which is gonna be perfect for my build that I prepared. Ah, you also lose a little bit of health by casting these spells. Hmm. Sure, I have to think about that. Run away! Losing health when you cast blood flame spells is kind of an interesting concept. I like it. Okay, now... How is this gonna work? Ah, uh, that heals me. Okay. So we siphon blood out of somebody and then heal ourselves with it. I forgot this is Convergence mode, so we have FP the regeneration. Oh. This is why daggers are sometimes sucky, guys. They have zero range. Okay. By the way, guys, what kind of challenge run do we want to see next week? I was thinking about doing... I was thinking about preparing the all achievement speedrun for Elden Ring. And I think I kind of have to do it immediately because... Uh, the DLC is going to add new achievements 100%. So right now I need to prepare for the all achievement speedrun before the DLC actually drops. Because that's going to change every, every single speedrun in existence. The only thing I'm concerned about... I would try to follow that. I will do it current patch as well. Like, I've, I will not down patch for all achievements. Blood Flame spells. I like how they buff Blood Flame Blade, actually. Blood Flame Blade is a lot faster right now. This guy is so annoying. He just spams the same attack. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Die, die. Die. Please die. Go away. I need to activate teleporters. Thank you. Bye bye. Just some gamer, thanks for follow. What did I miss you finishing? Honestly, the only thing you missed line from me finishing the old Malania run is pain and suffering. Like the, the, the last one hour of fighting Malania over and over again just was pure torture. Because I, I I literally cannot like okay, I'm working on a mod, guys, which I will make tomorrow probably. Remove Gideon, remove Malania, and remove uh Godski Duo. Just remove those from the game. Nothing else. It was pain, yeah. It was pain to watch, it was pain to do. 
Is that a human Rikard? What? Okay, now that everybody thinks that the that the dude from the trailer is Rikard, I'm 100% sure that that is not going to be Rikard, guys. But I might be wrong. We'll see. I have no idea. Still wanted to see. You, I'll make a video about it, Lina. Don't worry. I I I, I, can't, I would not believe that that is Rikard, guys. Like I cannot believe it. There's no way it's Rikard. Uh, Arcane and Faith, which is good. This scales with Arcane and Faith as well. Bro, everything has buffed blood loss. Uh, tch, tch, tch. Is Gwindol in returning? Maybe. Maybe the Eater of Gods is actually gonna return. Let's get some help first. Though this mod is kind of easy. But... Help is always good to have. It's definitely not Mikala. Guys! I don't know. We, can, we are gonna get a... Uh, let's go to Altus Plateau, right? Where is it? Let's go to Central Altus. Like, we are gonna get tomorrow a Vati Vidya video where he's gonna explain in detail what everything is. That's what I... That is what I'm theorizing right now. Uh, where is the item that I want? Something is behind me. Second Church of America in Altus. What is the Second Church of America? This is one church, this is the other church. Let's go to both of them. Why well, was 100% of the same? I told you guys before, like, we, I, I, I'm following these games since 2010. Every time we theorized something about DLC predictions or something like that, we always went wrong. Always we were wrong. Nobody, I think, ever predicted anything correctly in these games. Might be a little bit of an overstatement, but... Since we did predict feet weapons, but I think that was just an insider tip. Uh, the hell do we get out of here? We need to go around, right? Well, let's go over to Cal Capital, actually. Yeah, Second Church is a little right? Makes sense, yeah. Because you're a bleed bill at the end of the day. We chose the Blood Bill this time. Last time I played the, the Electrified Bubble Master. And yes, that is his actual real name. Uh, there is a funny mod Akamai for Dark Souls 1, uh, where it basically changes the dragon form, if you know what it is, for, into, lo into Miyazaki himself, like. Uh, I love that mod. <laughs> turn into a dragon, you turn into Miyazaki. I love how everybody thinks it's Raikar. I can't wait for it to be something else entirely, guys. Look, I cannot wait. I tried the gods can build myself uh, mod, and I don't really find it that interesting. It's cool, but I don't find that interesting. Who is the boss on the cover? We shall never know, guys. But I think... Uh, yeah, I'll just go around. I'll take this slowly. Today is the rest day for me, guys. How do you know it's called Mesmer? Uh, Broccolin. Have I done a Frenzy Blit? Nope. Maybe an offspring? Definitely an offspring of Marika. He has red hair. The fuck is a dragon skull lurking? What the fuck? Guys, there a dragon skull over there. Ah, he told us. I didn't actually. I didn't actually pick that one up. This is why I need to watch trailers like ten times. There's an action figure said it himself. Might be felt god. Guys, okay. Uh, lore experts in the chat. Who is associated with snakes in the current lore besides Rikard, obviously? Who else is associated with snakes? And destined de That guy definitely has destined death powers. It might be Godwin. I have no idea. I just want to find out. Like, I would do anything to get some inside, like, inside tip here. My schlong, yeah, my schlong is a snake associate. I'm so happy. I did not expect a DLC trailer today, like, at all. But unfortunately, the it's gonna come out in DLC uh, in June, which is a little bit farther away than I would like it to be. This is also changed, right? That's weird. There's a dragon skull up there. Let me actually check that one out. Okay, immediately I'm surprised by new stuff, guys. <laughs> the trailer made me. Uh, but I'm, I'm, kinda, I'm actually kind of glad that uh, it's coming out in June, guys. Because now I can play Dragon's Dogma in peace. Dragon's Dogma 2, I mean. And then I can enjoy the DLC. Okay, this is an entirely new fort, guys. What the hell did they add here? 
And why is that? Isn't it the Church of Dragon Communion? The hell is this place? There's definitely a dragon. But this doesn't seem to serve any purpose for now. Oh, Bob. Let's go to the Church of America. Favorite shitty weapon? Guys, my build that I'm taking into the DLC is a double dagger weapon. Double, double dagger build, guys. Do you realize how much fun I'm going to have? Like, if the bosses are not going to be like... Okay. Jesus Christ. When did I come into World War One here? Guys. Mine is a bone side from DS2. Nice. Uh, if the... Okay, I need I need the DLC bosses to be more powerful like three or four times than Malania, guys. If I want to have any sort of challenge. Because my build decimates bosses that I want to take into the DLC with, guys. The, the DLC better be hard as fuck. Because if it's not... Ho. Oh. Have I seen the... Of course I've seen the trailer. <laughs> I'm talking about the trailer the last 20 minutes. Let's go over here. Do some Skyrim parkour. There we go. Uh, grab Grey, Second Church of America. Red Iron Giant. Some of the bosses actually remind me of some Lies of P bosses. Like in feel and style. That's actually kinda good. He did make a video? Who made a video? Ah, I defeated two. Yeah, okay. I defeated all 165 bosses with daggers, yeah. The build that. The, the run that Gino is currently doing, I did the same thing, but with all the bosses. Uh, like, daggers are suspiciously good in this game. Like, very, very good. Especially on the build that I made. But uh, the DLC is adding throwing daggers, which is even better. Oh, I actually like that a lot. Like, throwing dagger weapons, not consumables, weapons. That's gonna be very, very cool. I'm gonna have a lot of fun in the DLC. Yeah, I've seen Havel and Laps inspired uh, DLCs. Uh, ar armor sets, yeah. That's gonna make some of the PvPers very happy. They both love the Havel and the Lap set. Uh, the only thing... Do you know what, guys, I would actually like to have in the DLC? I would like to have a... Better way of, te of, of transporting ourselves through the... Second... I need to kill this guy, right? Why am I... Fast... What the hell? He's flying. <laughs> that is gonna be just a bleed fiasco, right? Go away, brother. Okay, bleed. Let's cheese this guy. We are literally a bleed build in this game, so cheesing is definitely always a good idea. Cheese! The, the Bloodseeker spell is a little bit busted. It's not busted, it's just brained. Like, you need to just stay way, stay way back and cast this. And nobody can stop you. Dodge. Akira, what's up? A new paired curve sword makes me feel very... A new paired curve sword? It's probably some. It's probably gonna be like the same thing, like like uh, like uh, like as in DS3, where it's going to be the most powerful weapon ever. Also, I need to disable the guy in tutorial. Uh, where is the new weapon, Miyazaki? What is this? Uh, Lies of P. I plan to finish Lies of P. Android on my own time, and then we'll do a challenge run that I've already prepared for it, which might actually be impossible to complete. <laughs> Surgeon's Catlinger. Okay, what is this? It's a dagger that has quick step on it. Wait, did I just get a dagger for no specific reason? Okay, I need to find a better weapon, guys. No parrying? What do you mean? And abused in PvP, that's true. I'm not playing on keyboard, but for some reason, the it's not changing to the PS4 inputs. I don't know why, but it doesn't really matter. By the way... Small Ant, uplo Small Ant uploaded a video today, beating Minecraft without the keyboard. Without the keyboard. That guy legitimately beat, beat the entirety of Minecraft by just using the mouse. Left click, right click, and middle click. That's it. What the fuck? Imagine doing that in Elden Ring. Beating in Elden Ring without a keyboard. Only mouse inputs are allowed. Alright, let's find a better weapon. I don't want to use a dagger here. 
How the hell did he move? Please go watch the video, Traveler. The video is so funny. I saw a Karate Kid moveset. Yeah, the Karate Kid moveset is the, is the feet weapons that I theorized. You just challenged Jamefuck for insanity? No, I didn't. Not even Jamefuck is that insane. Actually, he might be that insane. That brother literally used lag switches to beat Bloodborne in one boss. Someone beat... Yeah, that was Point Crow. And he didn't beat, he didn't beat Elden Ring, but he beat a couple of bosses. Uh, Bloody Hellis, we already know. Morgoth's Cursed Sword, Purchase After Morgoth. What is a new weapon here that is good, guys? I don't see new weapons here besides... Catlinger. Bloody Hellis, we know... Only Vare quest, but Vare quest requires us to go, like... Should we just go Bloody Hellis? Bloody Hellis is poggers. Use them all. Now I'm trying to find interesting ones. Yeah, let's go Bloody Hellis. Uh, why not? Bloody Hellis is over here. Right. Yeah, it's an... It's, it's, yeah, I don't think it's in the past or in the future, the last stone. I think it's just the... Like, the dream version of the world. That, that is my theory. I don't think you're gonna go forward in time or backwards in time, but dream world. Definitely the dream world. We all watched that, like, ha like half a million people watched the Elden Ring DLC. Of course we watched it, don't worry. Very excited for DLC, guys, very excited. The DLC was more than I expected. The trailer was more than I expected. So I'm super, super hyped. Super, super hyped. Super, super, super hyped. Now I just want to rewatch the trailer like three more times and figure out all the details I can get. $40 pre-command? What is the price of the DLC? I didn't actually see the price. Does anybody know the price? Mesmer the Impaler. <laughs> Mesmer the Impaler gives me Penetrator vibes. 26 euros. That's fine. That's okay. That is completely fine. I think... I think like... Uh, Anything below 30 euros is probably a fine price for any sort of DLC. Especially big, especially for a big one like this one, probably. Wait, 40 euro or is it what? A 40 USD. Okay. So it's 40 euro. 40 euro is might a little bit be... That might be a little bit too much. But maybe the DLC is massive, guys. And it might not be too much. Like, if the DLC is really, really big, 40 euros is not much. Yeah, if the DLC is big, that's not a bad price. Like, it really depends on the DLC. Oh, it's gonna be so fun, guys. It's gonna be so goddamn fun. Can't wait. <laughs> Can't wait. Like, I would like to skip the next four months, please, Miyazaki, so I can immediately play the DLC. It looks giant. Yeah, it looks very, very big. Like, just from the areas we've seen, it looks massive. Half the game's content size? Jesus Christ. If that's true, that is insane. Like, one and a half times Elden Ring. Oh, okay, not one and a half. Like, half of Elden Ring tacked on top of Elden Ring. Elden Ring is already too big, guys. This game is way too big for its own good. And now another... Like, another half of Elden Ring added onto the... That is absolutely massive. Let me just point this out, guys. Okay, we have the entire map here, so I can actually point that point that out perfectly look at this guys so the dlc definitely adds two maybe three more areas right this is one area this is another area right imagine two like an entire area size of this added into the game what the fuck but what i'm actually expecting is that a lot of these areas are going to be transformed as well because we are entering a dream right that is going to be insane Sailor, what's up? Don't forget other maps. Yeah, is right. Dungeons as well. Catacombs too. Traveler, what's up? All right, let me grab the bloody Hellas. I like the bloody Hellas. Oh. Go away, bleed dogs. Thank you. How much damage do you take? Not that much, actually. Uh, Bloodseeker. Can we just cheese this guy the same way that we cheese the other one? We can, and we will. 
I'm a little bit of a pussy today. I don't intend to fight that much. We're gonna have to do a PvP stream, guys. Sooner rather than later, so I can actually prepare my build for the DLC. I want to properly prepare because when the DLC drops, I will definitely do PvP as well. Uh, because the first, like... It's always the most fun time doing PvP. When some when new content gets dropped. For these games. GG will play. We watch the trailer, yeah. Reminds you of Horizon Zero Dawn DLC? Why? I'm gonna have to play Elden Ring so many times. The only thing I'm a little, the only thing that I'm a little bit concerned concerned about, guys, is that the DLC is going to be too easy. That is the that is my only concern. I don't I don't doubt it's gonna be amazing, but it might be a little bit too easy for me. I did play this game a little bit too much. <laughs> Can't lie, Fromsoft cooked. Yeah, Fromsoft definitely cooked. Yeah, I mean that's what I expected. I didn't actually expect from software to do a bad job. They, they might do a decent job, but they don't really do bad jobs. Like, the content from them over the years has always been at least decent. Yeah, getting behind this guy's back is not gonna happen that easily. I need to watch out for bleed. I forgot he actually has bleed as well. The problem is, like, the funny thing is that DLC is gonna be released before the Convergence mod is actually gonna be finished, guys. That's kind of funny. That is not something that I expected. I thought the Convergence mod is gonna, like, release fully before the DLC, but I, th I don't think it's gonna happen. <laughs> the Convergence mod is going to be another DLC on top of it, guys. It's gonna be great. There's a lot of stagger damage to Bloodseeker. Whoop, 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 whoop. Calm down, my boy. I need to actually fight this guy. Oh! The lion boss enemy at the start is Godwin the Golden? There is no way. God, we already have Godwin in the game, guys. I mean, okay, it's a dream world. I need to stop thinking about we have this in the game already because it's a dream world. <laughs> Haven't done the coverage, but definitely recommend it. Coverage was good. The Convergence mod be altered by the DLC? No. The Convergence mod will not be altered by the DLC. The Convergence mod will alter the DLC. That's what's gonna happen. It is not Godwin? Nothing is confirmed currently, guys. Nothing. TLDR about this mod. The mod basically changes a lot of the aspect. It's just an overhaul of the game. That's the easiest way to explain it. it. It adds a bunch of different spells, weapons, things like that. Changes some of the areas and maps, map locations, things like that. Pretty cool mod, I recommend it definitely. Lot Seeker! Any type of mod that changes spells is a good mod in my opinion, because spells are very fun to play around with. He has that guy in attack with him. Doesn't allow me to get behind his back. Oh! I should definitely come back here when I'm a little bit more prepared. I don't. I'm not used to fighting these enemies too much. I think I did not. Why did I miss? Okay. That was a little bit suspicious. Let me restore FP. Thank you. How do I use Siphon of the Formless? That's how. I just siphon HP from him. That's pretty cool. That kind of spell would be very interesting to have in the base game. Please bleed. Thank you. not gonna parry me, my boy. That is not how this is gonna go. Give me your HP, please. What is my flask even here? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Let's go away. Nope, nope, nope. Why am I slowed? Okay. Bloodseeker, please. More Bloodseeker, please. 
Fuck, I'm gonna have to fight him because I don't have the resources to cheese him currently. Backstab! Alright. Spells are awesome, but not when it comes to fighting Rada Beast. Uh, the next video that I plan to make is gonna surprise you on how effective spells are actually fighting Rada Beast. We just need to have the right setup. This actually works, we just run behind him. GG well played. Also gotta do... Okay, I need to do three runs, guys, before the DLC drops. I need to do uh, the all achievements speed run. Bloody hell is glowing rune of blood play, nice. Three things I need to do before the DLC drops. I need to do the all achievement speed run. Fun thing. I need to do all bosses randomized deathless. And I need to make the... Uh, the Dragon Communion build that I want. Blood Slash, Sanguine Pool, Blood Flame, Outburst, Dynastic Sacrament. Okay. Fun when the DLC... That, that, that's why I need to do the all achievements now, real. That's why I need to do it immediately. Because the all achievements is already gonna take way too long and I don't want to do it when, like... Uh, when, like, the DLC drops because that's gonna take way too long for to actually accomplish. Bye-bye. Uh, Maybe it's Melina's twin. Could be anything, guys, honestly. The DLC trailer is out. We know, man. We know. We know the DLC trailer is out. Don't worry. <clears throat> it's gonna be interesting to see how the speedrunning... I'm actually, I'm actually really interested if the DLC is gonna change some aspects of speedrunning. That's what I'm actually very curious about. It probably will, but not to that extent. Let's get some mind. Uh, let's get some... Dexterity, probably. Today we are leveling dexterity, but not of our own free will. Uh, do I have any runes? Not yet. Bloody Hellas is actually a pretty good weapon. Uh, Limgrave. The DLC is confirmed. The DLC was confirmed like a year ago, first of all. We just today got the trailer. But we know about, we know about the DLC for a year. Uh, let me just go back to Gatefront so I can... Gatefront is basically my headquarters in these games. I know Castle Morn has different things, so I actually want to go over there as well. Uh, Eritrea Sentry, but what? Yeah, Mikolas... Mikolas is definitely one of the most interesting characters in the game, so I'm actually really looking forward to about that as well. Mo and Mikla spent like 500 years together as well. I wonder if the influence of Mo actually changed the Mikla in any significant way. That's what I'm curious about. Yes, Akamai, I've seen the DLC trailer. Thoughts on the trailer? The trailer looks amazing. My thoughts need to be... I, I will literally need to make a video. Like a 30 minute video, like detailing all of my thoughts, you guys, but... I like it. I really like it. It looks very interesting. That is the one thing that you want from a trailer. To look interesting. And they definitely nailed that one. Definitely nailed that one. Alright, let's go to Morn Castle, guys. That is the one place I do want to go to. Because I know it's completely changed. Uh, we're gonna see what is changed. The moment we get there. Okay, I know I reinstalled Elden Ring, but I really don't need to have fucking tutorials popping up. The DLC is gonna be Death Blight Swamp. I'm just expecting. Okay, I'm expecting one boss definitely to pop up in the DLC, the Glomite Queen. I would be surprised if the Glomite Queen didn't show up. The Glomite Queen would definitely make for an interesting Destiny Death build. She will. Ah, we don't know that, Rebel. <laughs> Blackbone, what's up? What's up again? I, honestly, whenever somebody says hello in the chat, I immediately welcome them. It doesn't matter how many times they actually said it. Miyazaki learned not to add a swamp? What? The? Miyazaki adding a swamp is like God adding light to the world. Like, it's, it's, it's an eventuality. It is not something that can be learned from or dislearned. Like, in Miyazaki's history, God on the sixth day did not create the earth or the water or whatever. He created a death swamp. He created a poison swamp, a scarlet rot swamp, and so on and so forth. 
That, that, that's what happened in Miyazaki's history of the Bible. God created the earth? No, no, no. God created a poison swamp. Pew, pew, Fox, what's up? Please send Salve? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is that supposed to mean, Joao? Joao. Turn off tutorials and options? Yeah, I know, but... Would you believe me that I'm so lazy that I don't want to go into the options and turn it off? They're gonna stop eventually. Have broken any records in the game? What do you mean? The fact that these weapons add blood flame effect is kind of broken. I mean, it's kind of the point of the cover this one, but still. Bye bye. Bye bye. Honestly, I'm that type of guy. Yeah, I am. I'm actually an insanely lazy person, guys. Trust me. Like, I, I do my work, like, very regularly. But everything else I'm just lazy about. Uh, absolutely lazy about. Only 19k noob sailboat. That is weak. Need at least 100k. Yeah, I know Stone Veil also changed. I will mean, go I will go Morn Castle. Okay, why does this guy sell everything? What for? Are you, why why are you a herb merchant all of a sudden? The fuck? Bro, we found the Zaza merchant, guys. Jesus Christ. He has all the Zaza. Uh save your points, Akamai, because uh, crowd control is eventually gonna happen on this stream. Or on on this stream eventually. Also, I like the ball on more castle, makes it more like ominous. All merchants sell everything, really? I don't remember that from the last time. These guys are definitely abusing DS Map Studio a lot. By the way, for anybody interested in modding, adding a wall like this is actually very, very easy into a mod. Go into DS Map Studio and just add a wall. It is actually very, very easy. Mm. But they did not just add a wall, they definitely detailed it as well. This looks actually pretty cool. I like it. Oh my god, when this mod releases fully, guys, it's gonna be the best mod ever created, I swear to Christ. Like, this, when this mod gets released, this is going to be like a entirely new game. So we have no torrent over here, okay. Alright, let's, let's see what awaits us here, guys. This looks very cool. Uh, we, are, we are currently doing castle more than we're gonna go to Sawmill. It's getting pale lately. Alright. Who is alive? Who is dead? Last time I was in the... Like, last time the Convergence mod did not impress me with the areas because... They haven't added too many areas yet. Oh, we have Quipstep over here, bros. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, guys. Get over here, please. Also, why are you frenzied? Why are these guys frenzied, guys, huh? I don't want to deal with too many frenzy guys in this place. Okay, backstab. Oh my god, he's out of trouble. Oh! Garden of Ice is awesome, too. Convergence is better for one single reason. You don't need to pay for it. That, 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 that single reason just absolutely demolishes Garden of Ice. Backstab! Scratchman, what's up? Also, the people who make convergence are absolute cool people. Oh! Ronin, what's up? Uralan Prime, what's up? No! I did not man did not want to go do another hit over there. Uh please get over here, Mr. Knight. I want to kill you. Backstab! Just woke up, nice. Uh, yeah, I know, Akira. I know. I did actually see a video of a guy explaining that when it comes to Garden of Ice. The... Okay. The, the one problem... The main problem with Garden of Ice is that it uh, completely violates TOS. Like, terms of service. Because you're not supposed to make money off of somebody else's assets. 
Also, I reset the enemies, Totobot. Use your brain. Don't reset enemies. Okay, since I have a double dagger, I think we need to use a double dagger. One dagger is just weak. Two daggers are... That's a weapon now. Seems alive, what's up? Is the game lagging or is it my delay? I don't actually know. The game is currently not lagging. That I can tell you. It could probably be your delay. Do you have any of good ads to recommend you install the mods? I understand that to... Uh, it depends, it, uh, Wilmer, like, you need to really troubleshoot it by yourself. Every mod is different, it installs a little bit differently. Some are easier to install, some are very hard. This one is very easy, you just download it and it's go good to go. But, I, I, I never used videos, I don't know any good tutorials of, like, modding Eldering. I just trial and error until it works, <laughs> that's how I do it. Uh, key spam, thanks for the compliment. Dexterity, please. And now we can use this dagger, and now we have a beautiful combination. Perfect. These guys are very annoying to deal with, because this goddamn knight is a perfect... Oh! This is a very annoying combination of enemies to deal with, guys. Especially when you have goddamn daggers. Smart dead. Very careful here. Not that, that, this is why... This is why double dagger is always just superior to single dagger. You just apply everything much better. Back step, please. I need to actually use Blood Siphon here. Because it's gonna save on a lot of resources. That is my Blood Siphon. Back step. Backstep. What weapons do I recommend for a strength build? Uh, go watch my video that I uploaded yesterday. Those are basically the weapons I recommend for a strength build. Like, I, I literally did an entire video <coughs> where I showcased a bunch of weapons that are pretty good. The one the one weapon that really surprised me are the great omen killer... Omen... The great omen killer cleavers. The, those are pretty good weapons, in my opinion. They are very powerful. Their bleed strength weapon, which is just broken. And you can get two of them, which is even better. I like when the weapons come in pairs. Also, this is Frenzy Flame, okay. Okay, guys, I'm just started going through more and I'm already confused on where to go. Over there? IXTs. What's up? That's why hander Swyhander is cool, but it's very too way too simple. Like, it depends on... The thing is, like, making a strength build is, like, a very open problem. Like, you make a very weird strength build, you can very, make a very simple strength build. You can just make a knight with a Zweihander Claymore and a sword. Would be a perfect strength build. Using Royal Knight's Resolve. Or you can make something, something absolutely insane. It depends on what you want. Okay, these Frenzy Flame guys are just annoying. I need to get them out of here immediately. Shadow, thanks for the follow. Also, I need to check the other spells. I completely forgot them. I forgot to check the other spells. It's easy to get lost? That's cool. That's good. If it's easy to get lost, that means it's big. Also, this is infinite stagger, is it? Oh my god, it is. Okay, that is broken. <laughs> Goodbye. Infinite stagger blood flame talents. GG. Power stance, what? This? Don't tell me there is some shenanigans with double seals. What's the most challenge was the most fun hardest? The most fun challenge run... Uh, probably 1 HP, 1 FP, 1 HP, 1 stamina, 0 stamina Dark Souls. Probably the most fun. The most challenging probably was... Either the old Fire Giant run or the Dark Souls 3 rolling only. Some of the two. Can't really do anything with power stancing these, but okay. Uh, 
This is resources. I completely forgot that these things actually exist in this game. And you can use them to get your resources back. Or the scraps, the scarabs. Ooh. Pero... Perezo, so what's up? Uh. Okay. Ganks. Immediately ganked. Alright. Bleed is broken. Henry, what's up? I don't like this. <laughs> We're getting large smithing stones. This is a little bit concerning. Lightning ram? <laughs> Lightning ram is a good thing, yeah. I agree. Lightning ram is a pretty good thing. I need to actually make a lightning ram build. That would be kind of cool to do. I, I, I think I actually never made a lightning build in this game. I completely skipped on lightning. What are my thoughts on the Radan sword? You mean the Star Scorch Greatsword? It's cool, but it's not really that good for PvE. It's more of, it's more like a, for a fun PvP type of weapon. For PvE, there are much better. Like, Ruin's Greatsword is just better version. It's just much more interesting to use. You'll see, once I do the all achievement speedrun, like, Ruin's Greatsword is busted. It is so good. Get over here, my friend. I'm just juking this guy. Right, let me restore my FP, please, and then I can just absolutely demolish this guy. Bye bye. Didn't get staggered, what the fuck? Why you not get staggered? Why am I in frenzied flame? <laughs> what is this place now? Why is it filled with frenzied flame, guys? What is happening? Why is Castle more in frenzy location now? Die, please. Yeah, mean build, lightning ram plus butt slam. Exactly, yeah. That would be perfect. That would be absolutely perfect. Get over here, boys. Time to die. Literally time to die. Because daggers are actually broken. Shields do definitely counter daggers now that I think about it. You'll understand when you find it. We'll see. Yeah, I know. I know lightning ram is effective in PvP. I know. I've used Lightning Ram myself in PvP. But, uh. It's a little bit too stupid. For my likes. Okay. A frenzy Flame on the ground is a little bit sus. Do that. Ah, you get a Shabriri Grapes from here. That's why Castle Morn is Frenzy Flame now. Interesting. Very curious. Also, that guy literally had a conniption right now. Uh, am I gonna get ganked by something? This area seems way too open. What did I miss? Nothing tarnished. I'm just playing a little bit with the convergence mod to see how it's gonna function. Okay, why are we now on the beach? What? When? When did Castle Morn get the harbor, guys? Ah, the dead awaken, of course. Ah, of course. There's an item over there. Okay, I, I was expecting something big, yeah. There's no way in hell that something big wouldn't come up here. Bye bye. What's the item? What is this Rob Zombie movie? Oh, that is nasty. That, that is a nasty trick here, mod developers. You put the giant blasting with Beast Roar on a place where I can get Beast Roar away. Also, a frenzy flame giant. Bye bye, friend. Frenzy Flame Giant Broken, guys. How do you plan on keeping Lord Pusha as contained for the next four months? He's surely getting nasty. Yeah, he is. He is. I can't actually wait to take the double dagger build into the DLC. That's gonna be so amazing. The, da the double dagger build is made for the DLC. Like, I can't wait fighting bosses with double daggers. This is, I think, my first playthrough of anything where I'm actually using daggers non-ironically. But... Uh, don't die, Toto. But when it comes, I'm gonna have so much fun that I can guarantee. For once, I actually have a fun build prepared for, like, new content for a game, which is good. What class? What do you mean? 
You're moving for this one? For this one, we are bleed class. Uh, more ganks, thank you. What is the point of this dagger? Like, I don't understand. Surgeons, what is the point of this? Ah, it increases the damage of blood flame incantations. Hey. Okay, so we definitely want to keep this on the main hand. Didn't even, didn't even read the item description. Get over here, my friend. Okay, so one part of Castle Mord is Frenzy, the other part is Beasts. Why? What's the purpose? Coming close to my birthday, yeah. I just don't... <laughs> for one part of, like, the DLC is coming out June, so a lot of people that are in the school are gonna be very excited for it. That's probably one of the best parts, when, when the when new content for a game or a new game comes, like, like just before school ends. It's always very good. I hope the crossbow in the trailer is the same as in the DLC. It is. Usually when they showcase a weapon in the trailer, it's never fake. Also, I need to check the other spells. Slave Knight built, here I come, yeah. They really like those repeating crossbows for some reason, guys. They, they really like them. Okay, Bloodseeker is a boring spell. I'll remove it. Oh, uh, Faith Arcane. We need a lot of spell. We need a lot of, like, levels for this shit, guys. Where can I get a lot of levels in the Convergence mod, guys? Hello, Goku. I'm a huge fan. These guys also have quite a bit of HP. It's 500 HP is not, not a small amount. Please die! Good fight. Let me buff my blade. Buffing a dagger with blood flame is just weird. These guys are insane. Oh. Bro, like, the, the DLC enemies that we are gonna get are probably going to be harder than the, than the bosses in the original game. That's what I'm expecting. It's always like that, like, the enemies in the DLC, like, normal enemies, are always the most insane types of enemies to come out of these games. Is that... Is God Sword the best... The best strength weapon in the game are the Starfist. Uh, the Starfists are by far the best strength weapon. And the, the best... The Starfists are the best weapon. So, yeah. There are, technically, there are no, like, strength or dex weapons in these games because infusions exist. So, if you want the best weapon, definitely start. Trojan detected? What the hell did you download, Traveler? Grail should get some rules. Is Grail still available to kill in this game? I think... Uh, Grail... Is either not killable or doesn't give any runes in this convergence mode, I think. Something like that. Bro, like if you don't know that Trojan, he is. Okay. Then it'll go murder Grail. I mean, you have like. We can also cheese the Knight's cavalry now that I think about it. Oh, well, let me just kill these idiots. Let's go do some cheesing, guys. Can you please land? I don't have the ability to fly, so it's not really that fun fighting you. Please die. What is the item? It's a golden rune, so it's nothing. Uh, I know the armor pieces give the extra stats, yeah, I know. They give, like, extra stats on, like, arcane and faith. But the armor pieces don't do much other than that. Can't wait for the flying snakes run. <laughs> oh, I, I, I just want to beat Elrond with feet, guys. Th that is the one thing that I want to do. And now that I know that feet weapons are a thing, I just want to beat the entire game with... Where are you going, my friend? I just want to beat the entire game with feet weapons. Th that, that is my goal for now. How strong are feet weapons in Elden Ring? The title is writing itself. Just don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Backstab! Feet only, yeah. That's what I that's what I have in mind. Backstab. Just like firing things in DS1. 
Uh, the firing only added fire damage onto the onto the kick. It didn't add an entire moveset. Those are two entirely different things. The closest feat weapon that we had was the DS2 Bone Fists. Uh, because it did have some, like, kick moveset. But it was not really a feat weapon. I, would not I wouldn't describe that one as a feat weapon. Running past these guys might be a mistake. <laughs> Should do a kick only run in all the nah nah nah. Kick only run in the other games is a is a torture. Like, uh, can you even do a kick only run in DS3? I don't think you can. I think you, you can do a kick only one in DS1. But DS3, I don't think so. Not entirely sure, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. The kick doesn't do damage in all of the games. Also, where the hell do we go in this place? This place is massive now. What The hell do I go? We are definitely gonna go kill Grail. Okay. We are definitely gonna go kill Grail because... Uh, let me siphon some blood out of you, my friend. Give me, that, give me that good HP. This kind of spell would be very cool to have in, like, uh, the base game. A siphoning spell. I like that. Can I backstab these idiots? Can't backstab these idiots? The main problem with a dual dagger build is that uh, it's very easy to lock yourself into an animation. It's kind of hard to get out of these like very long attack chains. The update is massive. The update might be massive, but it's still in alpha, guys. It's still in goddamn alpha. They already deleted two gigabytes of my homework. <laughs> You siphon gasoline each day. <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know anybody that siphons gasoline. Like, close to me. I know people who did it before, though. <laughs> but yeah, I don't... I, Balkans are only known for bullshit, I think. It's kind of funny. Siphoning gasoline. Bro, how do we enter more castle, guys? What is this place? <laughs> Where is the entrance, guys? Bro, this place is massive now. It's got a labyrinth. Ah, there we go. We have Tesla. <laughs> I've, I've seen like two or three, three Teslas in my lifetime from like living here in Croatia. Not too many Teslas exist in this place. In these places. You need the Antasiano. Have I tried climbing the crumbled walls? Nope. And also... Just realized there are cannons over here. Uh, let's go to Grejol. Let's go to Kaled, actually. So we can get some extra runes so we can level ourselves up to use all the other spells. I'm on the feet. No, it's a feet weapon because it's definitely a feet weapon because uh, I did hear rumors about that from like a long time ago. It has to be a feet weapon. Is it West Caled? I forgot which one it is. I'm from Croatia Slip. I don't think there are new spells, Anik, but uh, I think the spells are basically done. I think what they are currently doing is editing like uh, areas. I think that's going to be the main focus of the Convergence mod. I don't think they're going to add too many more spells. They already added way too many spells. Guys, we are playing a From Software game. Uh, we are all feet We are all feet lovers. That's how that goes. What happened to the Ascendant mod? I don't like it. I played it. I tried to play it more, but I, I can't. Just, like, th the moment Radan throw thrown that goddamn unavoidable multiple hitting gravity attack that homes in on you 100% then I decided okay I don't like the ascendant mode anymore that, that, that is way too much bullshit for one, one man to handle and the ascendant mode is now even harder than when I, would, when I played it before because why not 
You didn't see the DLC trailer, BJ? Go see it. I'm, 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 just, I'm just joking, actually. I will actually watch the DLC trailer again and again after this, guys. I, I need to analyze it more. Uh, was this before on last convergence? I think it was. <laughs> the amount of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rule 34 and From Software Feet are definitely going out of hand. Go look the trailer, BJ. Mix and match Ashes of War. That sounds like a good mod, uh, Fire. That sounds like a very good mod. I've already shown it on stream, BJ. I showed it at the beginning. You can rewind. Uh, you can rewind YouTube to the beginning of the live stream. And you can see it. Uh, Sleepy, thanks for the comment. Did I enjoy the content? Grail, my brother, they're about to die. We'll kill. We'll, we'll, we'll go kill Grail and uh, the Knights Cavalry for runes. I'm not a lore channel, Charlie. No, I will not make a video analyzing the trailer. That's, that's not gonna happen. I make challenge runs, speed runs, and meme runs. That, that, that is what I like to make. Analyzing? Nah. Not the lore channel, definitely. Even though I like the lore of these games. Yeah, the Kung Fu attacks look pretty good. Uh, I did play Hoi a little bit, uh, Agent. I have a couple of friends that play Hoi religiously, but... I don't like really grand strategy games. I like more real-time or turn-based. Grand strategy is not really my thing. Do I challenge on me inverting? Nah. By the way, uh, Monster Hunter fans, anybody who's a Monster Hunter in the fan, the chat. Uh, did you see the fake Alatrion kill that the woman claimed beat blindfolded? Basically, uh, basically, uh, basically, a girl on Twitch claimed that she beat Alatrion, uh, one of uh, one of very hard boss fight in Monster Hunter, blindfolded. But the way she killed the monster was completely fake. Like, there's no way any human in the world can actually beat that monster in that way blindfolded. She did, she did like, things that would not be possible to do if you don't, can't see the game. And, uh, basically, Asmongold watched the video, uh, gave her a bunch of clout, <laughs> because he has no idea anything about Monster Hunter, and he was like, oh, this is amazing, blah, blah, blah. And then, like, two days later... Uh, Carl Jacobs does a debunking video and a bunch of other people as well do a debunking video on that and then <laughs> Then they roast Asmongold and the girl Twitch streamer who actually faked the kill of Alatrion. It's actually so funny That might be my favorite drama currently on uh, Like drama on Twitch. This is so funny like why would anybody fake blindfolded a blindfolded kill on a on a monster in Monster Hunter is beyond me but yeah Twitch is insane as always, drama traveler, you just don't hear about most of them. Yeah, maybe we hit the tail, there we go. It's the best way to hit the garden tail. Uh, watch the DLC? Yes, of course. Of course we watch the DLC. The DLC looks very good, Sloop. Very, very good. Looks very interesting, which is the main thing that I would want to have. This is not the range where I want to kill it. Oh, the new Monster Hunter is as well coming out. Yeah, but it's a little bit further away in the future. Uh, wilds, we don't have anything, like, really to grasp on. Wilds, it, like, Wilds is going to be an open open world Monster Hunter game, which is perfect. That, that game needs an open world. That game is made for an open world. Like, Monster Hunter was never an open world game, and finally it's becoming one. That, that needed to happen, like, ten years ago, in my opinion, but whatever. So I'm very, very excited for Wilds, yeah. Very, very excited for Wilds. Go to the leg. No, this is easy. The DLC very different. It's looking... Yeah, it looks very different, yeah. The DLC looks more dark, Blackbone. Uh, like, the, the overworld for Elden Ring looks very much like... Very... Not happy, but happy-ish, in a sense. Have I seen Pal World? Yeah. I'm not... I don't... I don't play too many Pokemon type games, so I don't really care about Power World, but yeah, I can see it. Honestly, hate open world. That, you don't hate open world, Jacob. You don't. You hate bad games. You don't hate open world. I, I, I like linear games more, but I don't hate open world. You hate bad games, trust me. 
the amount of Assassin's Creed bullshit open world games that released in the last like five years like soured everybody for like open world games, trust me. Open world games are great in moderation. Like any other type of game. That's why I never play shooters until Battle Bit Remastered released. I, there's no other shooter that's interesting to play. Like, I've been waiting for a good Battlefield game for the last, like, since Battlefield 3. Actually, no. Since Battlefield 4, I've been waiting for a good Battlefield game, and I never got it. Because they overuse, oh, like, they, they never make a good game. Uh, Helldivers. I haven't actually seen Helldivers very much, Charlie, but I do plan to check it out. But people are saying it's a good game, so I want to check it out. The dagger sounds like an American wedding song. What? By the way, for the all achievement speedrun, we actually have to kill Grail. What is the fastest way to kill Grail, by the way, guys? I don't know if Bleed is the fastest way to kill this guy. It might be the fastest way to, like, use Frostbite on him and then reset the frost Frostbroke. That might be the fastest way to kill him. Hmm. Black Flame Tornado. Okay, Black Flame Tornado, but that's way too far in the game. I feel like the fastest way to kill him would be Frostbite and then reset the Frostbite immediately. Huh. I'll definitely figure that one out later on my own. I need to test some things. We don't need Golden Thief. We don't need to be completely overpowered. Uh, we need Faith and Arcane, right? 25 both. Oh, how many rooms do we need? Wait, what? Why? Because uh, you can't reset Bleed, Traveler. But, for example, if you Frostbite, if you frostbite Gale and then hit him with a Fire Weapon, the Frostbite meter resets and you can immediately Frostbite him again. So you can infinitely Frostbite him. Alright. Uh, wait, let me actually check more spells. We need to actually... Oh, no, 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 no. Before I check the spells, let's go cheese the Knight's Cavalry. I need more runes, guys. Grail only drops 1k. In the convenience mod, apparently, no and more. I think they just made him drop the amount of runes again. Is anything changed over here? Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, of course. I forgot the entire area over there has been added. Uh, Gale, yeah, he, he, Gale is a, is a, is a sign of good game design, Kirin, and hear me out here, like, uh, usually you would not kill Gale that, uh, Gale, Grail, 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 that early on in the game, so a normal playthrough you, you can still have on, like, the first playthrough, but the game knowledge you will get from, like, the first playthrough will definitely help you out in, like, your next playthrough because you know you can kill Gale immediately. Which is just, uh, in my opinion, very good game design. It's just like a, it's like a thing you never knew about on your first playthrough, but on your second playthrough, you're like, oh yeah, Grail, here we come again. When setting up builds and doing speedruns, Grail is very useful. Very, very useful. Not for all speedruns, but for some of them. Alright, Knights Cavalry Cheese. Thoughts on the update so far? Uh, I haven't actually... I, I mean, just because more castle looks that, like, redone, I actually already really like it. But I... Honestly, I knew the Convergence mod is a good mod at the moment I actually played DS3 Convergence. What do you think about Midir? I like him. I like Midir a lot as a Dragon Boss fight. Knights Cavalry. We have to do the old school cheese here. Guys, do, what do you do you think we're gonna get horse armor in the DLC? <laughs> I think a lot of people actually want something like horse armor or something like that, like customized torrent a little bit. What do you guys think? Is there any chance of that happening? Knights Cavalry, what in the hell are you doing? We are again gonna do this goddamn Yep. Nice cavalry. Nice, but nice. Another, another Meyer. What's up? What the fuck is this guy doing? This guy's on all the drugs. 
on whatever kind of drugs you are, my friend. Is he fixed what's happening? And bye bye. <laughs> this guy will never get fixed, guys. Never in my life is this guy gonna get fixed. Alright, more runes. Horse only build. <laughs> Brother, I know like three cheeses for the Knight's Cavalry and DTS. Like, seriously. I know the Kukri cheese, I know the uh, this cheese for Knight's Cavalry, that's two cheeses for this guy. Three cheeses for DTS. Perry cheese, one Kukri cheese, and another Kukri cheese. You can, you can cheese so many bosses in this game, it's actually very fun. Also, why is everything so expensive? Let's go Dexterity. Bro, the amount of runes needed is insane. Yeah, Knight's Cavalry does not want to comply. I also need one more Dexterity for... Bloody Hellas, right. Okay, now we have 23, right? Let's check out this. Um, More Memory Stones. Oh, let's see. This, that, this. Blood Boon Slash. Oh. <laughs> That's a cool attack. I like that. Sanguine Pool. Bro, what am I, Darth fucking Vader? What is happening? Oh, that is cool. <laughs> that is very cool. I like that. I feel like if there is a cliff, yeah. yeah. If there is a cliff there, you can he can be cheesed. 100%. 100%. Lord is offline today? Lord usually just lurks at the chat, Traveler. He's a lurker. <laughs> what was that? Uh, okay, well... I need to read the description of that one. Restores 100 and cost FP. Hmm. This is very interesting. Restores all of FP but costs HP. So that's a synergy there. Hmm. Let me just go back to the round table real quick. Abernathic Heretic has the Darth Vader pool. Wait, what? He has Darth Vader spells? What is happening? What is happening? Welcome to the I teach and explore so that one ensuring either way. I might play with the Aberrants next time I actually do a playthrough. By the way, I'm not going to do a playthrough of this game, guys. I'm just going to go through Born Castle. That's what I wanted to see. While checking out some of the other spells as well. Doing a full playthrough is kind of pointless. Uh, currently, because there is not too many changes done. We have a lot of weapons here at our disposal, which is kind of interesting. I like this. Immediate options. Immediate. Uh, wait. Oh, Bandit Cursor. Nice. He has Bell Bearing spells? Oh, the Aberrant has Bell Bearing spells. That's very nice. That is very nice. The, the, the Bell Bearing Hunters are a very cool, like, Musa to have, definitely. Alright, let's go back to more Castle and obliterate everybody there. I actually need to rewatch Star Wars, guys. I haven't watched Star Wars in... I have no many... I don't even know how many years. I need to rewatch the origin original trilogy and then I need to rewatch the 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 prequels. Even though the prequels suck, but they need to be rewatched. <coughs> also, who is singing over here? What is Don't watch I, I don't watch to watch the I don't want to watch the Disney ones now. The prequels and the originals. The episode. The episode one to six basically. And rewatching Clone Wars, you mean the anime? That's actually a good point. Uh, why is there a foggate over here, Miyazaki? Who is the creator of this mod? <laughs> I can't blame Miyazaki anymore. I need to blame the creators. Omen Killer Sandro. What's up, Sandro? Ooh. Sandro has a lot of HP. Sandro, you've been doing your push ups, I see. Okay, he changes direction there, which is concerning. Uh, bleep. I like... I like that they're adding new bosses in the game, even though they're basically reskins, or... Did they change anything about this homework? I feel like something else is gonna happen. Die. He's a placeholder? Ah, oh, that's cool. It wouldn't make sense for the Convergence Mod team to actually not add another different type of enemy. So he's a placeholder. Pretty cool. Oh my god, that's... What the hell? That is a cool effect. It adds blood flame at the end of it. 
That requires a little bit too much FP for my taste, though. Need to check out Sanguine Pool. Get over here, bitch. Oh, that restores the HP. Nice. Okay, so can we do this combo then? Let me see this. Uh, oh. Sanguine Pool. That restores HP. And then we can go Sanguine, like, Dynastic Sacrament, right? I killed myself. Okay, so we have a combo here. So, Sanguine Pool plus uh, Dynastic Sacrament restores entirety of the HP and FP bars. Pretty good. What build is this? It's the Blood Flame build for the Convergence mod. Uh, this update came like a couple of months ago, I think. Like a month ago, maybe. I don't remember when. Maybe like a few weeks ago. Oh, one thing I'm definitely very excited for the DLC, guys. Armor sets. I want more fashion in these games. I want more armor sets. And I hope they fix the PvP a little bit more. I sincerely hope they actually fix the PvP a little bit. PvP in these games would be the icing on top of it. Like a... Like, a good PvP system would be icing on the cake for these games. But these, if these games had better PvP, no game could rival them. Why did I miss that? Uh, excuse me, why do you take less damage now? What is happening? Why did you take, like, half the damage less right now? Can I just bait that attack and backstab Yeah, Lord Tushanks is gonna be very happy about the DLC, 100%. Okay, we're just gonna chain backstab this guy. We're gonna play this like DS1. Chain backstab. Chain backstab. <laughs> uh, abusing Omer Killers. Always a fun time. PS3 fashion. Uh, what's your favorite fashion, guys, in From Software games? Like, in what game do you feel like the best fashion has been has been made? I I feel like DS1 would be the fa favorite fashion for me. Like, there's way too many iconic ar armor sets over there. But I actually curious about your opinions. Like, Bloodborne, in my opinion, has the like weakest fashion out of the Souls games. Obviously, we're not counting Sekiro. Sekiro doesn't really count in the Souls game. Can I chain backstab this guy, please? Uh, we'll go Sanguine Pull right now. What the? Okay, the range of Sanguine Pull doesn't seem to be that big. Okay, thank you. Ooh. Sanguine Pull! I like this build. I like the bleed. I like to dress like a Bloodborne character IRL. Yeah, Bloodborne, Bloodborne fashion is definitely like more realistic, I agree. But honestly, if I could wear an armor set like in the middle of the day... Actually, I could just wear an armor set in the middle of the day. Nobody is stopping me, but... Probably would not be the, the best thing to wear. In the middle of the day. <laughs> My bro, Omen Killer, you suck. How the hell do you dress like a DS1 character, Jacob? What, you dress like the Onion Knight? Paint Relic Remnant. Yeah, we can craft things with this. Can I actually craft immediately something? Wear one for the next stream, yeah. Unfortunately, I do not have an armor set, guys. Maybe I'll buy... The, the, the one thing I really want to buy is uh, Anduril. Flame of the West. I want to buy the sword. The, the Aragorn sword. And put it on the wall. That, that is one thing that I really want to buy. I'm not actually into that into katanas that much. I really like two-handed claymores and long swords. So I kind of want to buy Anduril. Probably will buy it very soon, actually. DS3 has the best drip, I agree. Did I see the shadow of the earth tree today? Of course I did, man. Of course. Don't worry. Uh, we are doing fire damage, right, guys? Yeah, we are doing pure fire damage, actually. Okay, so we increase fire damage. So that was broken the fort, yeah. Andurl is probably one of my favorite, like, uh, medieval fantasy swords. 
Although it's actually just a medieval sword, it's not really... It doesn't have too many fantasy elements to it. Uh, boost, dexterity, arcane, combination. Let's go fire, of course. Let's go... Uh, temporarily boost FP, restores the sh FP over time. How long does this last? Does this last forever? No. For three minutes, definitely this. And let's grab... Arcane and Faith. Perfect. Flasks, allocate flask, that's fine. Actually, no, let's go like this. We have a way to restore. Convergence mod is just so fun to play around with. I, I just want to make Convergence mod hard. The next time we do Convergence mod, guys... Uh, I'll tell you this, guys. Like, once this... The, once this mod gets released, I'll do like a challenge run for it. But then I need to add a challenge mod into it as well, like new game plus seven maybe or something like that. Like no death convergence mod new game plus seven or something like that. Because a challenge run would be quite interesting to do for this for this uh, mod. Uh, we also have that be nuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm I'm actively clicking about that. Yeah. Imagine if ER Zwei... That, that's kind of a shame, Akira, that we don't have actually a Zweihander in these games that behave like Zweihanders. Have you ever seen, guys, how a Zweihander is actually used in real life? I don't know why that kind of moveset is not added into games. That kind of... If I, if, you know, if I can wield a Zweihander like that in these games, that would be the best weapon ever created. I don't know why they, they don't do it, but... It's up to them, I guess. Honestly, I like a boss fight in the, at the beginning of this place. It's actually kind of cool. There is a frenzy playing boss outside the village. Outside which village? I don't have a weapon that I want to use. Guys, is there any good bleed weapon that is new? That might be worth getting, guys. Queen Marika, what's up? New game plus seven is not that difficult, but it's more difficult than base game. If you want to add a little bit of a challenge, then it's definitely better, yeah. How are you gonna... I'm not gonna ship in Guts Sword. Guts Sword is not a sword, guys. It's a hunk of iron. Okay, let me take care of these idiots. Sanguine pull. Blood Flame Outburst. Nope. Not what I wanted to throw out. Ay, 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 ay. Now FP gets restored pretty fast. These spells are very cool, but they're not really hard hitting. Or at least they don't feel hard hitting. Nope. Heal here. Blood Flame Slash. Was nice. The kid, thanks for the follow, man. Do a LARP event with that Spider? What is a LARP event? New game plus 7 with base stats. Uh, I'll figure a good challenge run out for like convergence mode, guys. Like, I need to. I need to think a little bit what a good challenge run with like new spells would be. Maybe a no-hit run, like a no-hit run with like convenience mode would be pretty cool to do. Because a lot of the spells are very like... But then again, like convenience mode also makes the game quite easier because you can teleport everywhere. Yeah, Hema, he, uh, Hema is pretty cool, Akira. Inferno Plus does the same thing, I think, as well. I actually, I, I would really like to try a, like, medieval martial art sometime in the future, unfortunately. That doesn't really exist here in Croatia. Abdullah, thanks for the follow. What the hell? Why are you spamming perfumes? You are not my girlfriend. Stop. Drop kick. Yeah, I've seen the Frenzy Flame boss, I think. 
Was it a giant frenzy flame boss? I'll go check it out later, guys. I want to see the end of Castle Morn. Castle Morn has very much, po a lot of potential, in my opinion. That's why I want to check it out immediately. Ah, oh, Jars. What's up, Jars? Okay, how the hell do we go up there then? Oh, there you go. We'll check out the Frenzy Flame boss later. Jar. Uh, QG DLC trailer looks amazing. I love it. Looks very interesting, can't wait to play it. The games for this year are pretty good lineup, guys. I have Dragon's Dogma, then I have Elden Ring DLC, then I have Path of Exile 2. Like, Jesus Christ. I might need to take a six month vacation, guys. <laughs> play all those games. I still need to play Red Dead Redemption 2, by the way. Like, I still haven't even got to that. Or finish Lies of Thieves. Way too many goddamn games to play, guys. Way too many. Stop, feathered fuck. Stop it. Yeah, Dragon's Dogma 2 also looks very, very good, QG, yeah. Dragon's Dogma 2 looks so good. Yeah, I also need to play Baldur's Gate. I know, Freakmaster. I was having a poll in the Discord of should I play Red Dead Redemption 2 or Baldur's Gate first, but... I mean, not but, but... Uh, but, but. Red Dead Redemption 2 won the poll. <coughs> so I'll play that first. Oh, this is a shortcut, right? Yeah, it is a shortcut. Nice. Okay, so they're adding even shortcuts in this place. Wait, was there a Poison Swamp Zainab in the DLC trailer? I didn't see a Poison Swamp. Don't worry, the Poison Swamp will exist, but I did not see it. Uh, can I go... Outburst, maybe, here? Let me go... This... Then pull this guy... Pull this guy... Heal... Let's go Outburst! Bam! Outburst is pretty cool. I like this a lot. This is like a attack from Mo on steroids. By the way, guys, we'll be checking out another mod as well, but not today. Uh, Unalloyed Malenia. I will be actually trying to defeat her eventually. Probably, maybe even next, like next week. We'll see. We will see. I'll definitely check it out. The DLC is full of Deathlight stuff. I didn't see a single death blight in the DLC trailer currently. But maybe I'm blind. Golden rune. Oh, there's a ballista over there. What the? Okay, that is cheeky. It's definitely cheeky. Take care of the ballista guy somehow. He's shielded, unfortunately. Well, oh, okay. Will that guy kill the ballista guy? Ha! <laughs> Get attracted yet? Well, that ballista guy is broken, guys. Mm. Did uh, let me solo her actually try to fight uh, Unalloyed Malenia gamer? That would be a cool video for him to make, definitely. Buongiorno. Viper, thanks for the follow. Like, I would actually like to see Let Me Solo Her try to tackle Analoid Malenia, because Analoid Malenia is absolutely bullshit insane. Uh, it's the newest patch, yeah, another Meyer. Made Spirit Summons actually playable? What do you mean? I never actually played with Spirit Summons in the Convergence mode. What do they change about Spirit Summons? But have I heard about the sport Buhurt? Bahurt? Buhurt? It's a medieval battle. I, I did see like medieval MMA where it's like five on five, which is insane. If you've never seen that, guys, you need to go check it out. Like medieval MMA type in YouTube. It's crazy. 
is absolutely crazy. I, I thought MMA was brutal. This is more insane. Die, bitches. <laughs> Why am I even fighting enemies when I can just blood flame outburst on them? Blood flame outburst. GG well played. Viper, what's up? <coughs> there is a no hit? Yeah, I know. Ongbal did it. But Ong Ongbal no hits anything, so... It's not really surprising. Blood flame outburst. Okay. How did not how did you not fall down? I'm very amazed. I will butt stab you. I don't I stop it. Stop. Sangwin pull. Give me that butt. Blood flame outburst. Oops. Blood flame outburst. Bam. And GG. Blood flame is one of the cooler concepts that they added. Blood flame is one of the cooler concepts that they added into Elden Ring. I really like the combination of blood and flame. It's definitely not noble presence. If the lion is actually going to be Godwin Gamer, I would be actually kind of surprised. And I need to stop saying actually. I try to remind myself of that constantly, but it's very hard. Uh, the accent is Croatian, my friend. Because I am from Croatia. Uh, quick question, guys. Is the boss at the end of Moor Castle changed, or is it the same thing? Misbegotten, I mean. Also, why do I suck at this game all of a sudden? I died like three times over here. Oh, it's time for some more blood flame outburst. I think ballistas. Same thing, alright. Blood flame outburst, boys. I love this. That's a very cool spell to play with. Same with the sword, yeah, I know. They didn't make all of them have the sword equipped, which is cool. Uh, blood flame outburst. Have another Blood Flame Outburst. Because why not? Sign and pull. What? Actually, let me restore FP like this. Oh. These knights... Are, are I... Are a torn in my ass. Like, literally, just die with it, please. Please! Don't guard break me. Thank you. Have you seen Black Myth Wukong? Uh, I've seen Black, Mi Black Myth Wukong, but I don't really like the aesthetic really. But it might be a fantastic game. To be fair, I didn't really like Lies of P when it came out, and then I've gotten to like it over like watching gameplay of it. What's up, Edgar? Haven't seen you in a hot while. We can actually kill this guy for... Sacrificial twig, okay. Quest lines do seem to be changed. Oh! Bye bye, Edgar. <laughs> You're not getting out of this one alive. Uh, Banished Knight's Helder, thank you. Um, what's over here? What's over here? A lever is over here, what? Somewhere a heavy door has been opened, okay. Okay. Heavy door somewhere. Oh, what is this place right now? Why is there a city down there? Okay, Castle Moor has officially turned into City Moor. There is Gino here, I think. <laughs> what do you mean there is Gino here? What does that even mean? Can I blood flame outburst this guy? I really want to do it. Don't notice me, senpai. What is the blood flame outburst? <laughs> See you in hell. Good fight. This seems to be just the location down there, right? Oh, there is a... No, this seems to be the original location that we came from, right? 
That is a whole small town. Yeah, I've seen it. I've interacted with it. Is it the city where you came from? What do you mean? Yeah, it is. Have I ever participated in Triple N? Uh, no. I think that's dumb. Right. I'm from Croatia, yes, Viper. Wait, what is this location? This is... I just went backwards, right? Can I climb this? Yeah, I can. Here and here. Is there any way to get to the top? Remember NPC Invaders named after streamers from DS3 Convergence? I don't remember that. I don't remember that, Carolina. I know it's a thing, but I don't remember it. What's the point of this? There is another location down there. Ah. So what's that? What is that? Interesting. It's a hidden path, right? It's definitely a hidden path. Tips for Malikev? Um, tips for Malikev. Dodge into his attacks. And go look at a speedrunner killing Malekev. Because Malekev is actually very easy to kill once you... Once you've seen what to do against him. Oh. Melina boss fight get added? That is not gonna happen. I don't think Melina boss fight is ever gonna get added. Uh, it, it really depends on what... It might... It might it, there might be a Melina boss fight in the DLC for, for all we know at this point, guys. Yo, Nico, what's up? Tips for Radagon? Mm, just stay close to him. Radagon is most dangerous when you're far away from him. Okay, what is the point of this shit? I feel like there has to be some point... Ah, okay. So we need to climb the crumbled walls. Oh, this is pretty cool. I like this. This is like hidden locate. This castle went literally from Morn into Landell. This is giant. What the hell? Bro, this castle is goddamn enormous. This is like an entire city over here now. Jesus. I love how you can see... I, I love how you can see the mountaintops from over here, guys. That is one of the best design decisions from Elden Ring. Okay, I also need to go back to Stormail as well, because there is things change over there. What's my favorite boss? Rykard and Godfrey. QG. Rykard I really like as a gaming boss fight. Ah, you know what time it is? It's Blood Flame Outburst time. Bye bye! Bye. Oh shit, what the fuck? Why are you over there? Uh, this is a little bit of a predicament. Oh my god! Blood Flame Outburst? I will not deal with dogs anymore in this game. Blood Flame Outburst? This might be my favorite spell so far, guys. I like this spell a lot. Godskin Matriarch? Where is Godskin Matriarch, uh, Kedix? Where is Godskin Matriarch, guys? The hell is that over there? Can I Blood Flame Outburst you, my boy? What is that weapon, by the way? Oh my god! Uh, we are out of resources. Perfect. Give me that HP. What do we have over here, boys? Something good? Nope. Nothing good here. Swighander! <laughs> well, we find the Swighander. Uh, in Leonia, Divine Tower. Fuck, that's a long way away. It is a, like a mid force, but red. It is a mid force, but blood flame, yeah. Let me try to go to the boss fight first. Um. Uh, also, where are the rest of the spells? Shimmering, Shining Rune of Blood Flame, Landil Catacombs. Uh, 
notable sets. Mo's Palace. Sword of Milos. Eleonora Pole Blade. Bloody Hellas. Unfortunately, I picked a class that doesn't really have too many interesting weapons. Spells are pretty cool, but weapons don't really exist. Should have went probably with the God Slayer. For like more interesting weapons. There are some changes to Deep Root Depths. Yeah, I know. I've, I've been to the Deep Root, Deep Root Depths before. But uh, the Morn changes and the Storm Veil changes are new to me. I chose the Bleed class. KG. How do we go down to the boss fight, guys? Don't make me Blood Flame Outburst, you boys. How do we go down to the boss fight, guys? Do I really have to Blood Flame Outburst, you guys? There's so many of them! Hey! <laughs> have I ever been in the Middle East? Nope. I want to go to Egypt, but other than that, I don't really have any interest from, like, Africa. What is my favorite Ultra Grades? Zweihander is just cool, Stain, honestly, it is. Zweihander is just absolutely cool. Can't go wrong with the Zweihander. Ralukara has changed too. We'll go check it out then. I want to basically see the changes. I'm not actually interested in fighting the bosses too much. Uh, is there no way to go down there from here? Or am I going the complete wrong direction? I'm probably going completely wrong direction. I'm getting speared. Like a goddamn pig here. My guess is that I'm going the completely wrong direction, guys. Because the boss fight... Let me actually pop real quick to Ralukaria and Stormvale. Um, -da 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 -da. Let's go back over here. We need to also go... Hmm. Yeah, let's go see Stormvale changes as well. West Lyrnia. My Mo is not my favorite boss. It's definitely Rykard. I just like Rykard for some reason. If if the boss in the DLC turns out to be Rykard as well, that's probably going to be my favorite boss, guys. For some reason, I really, really like Rykard as a character. Uh, Stormhill. That's what we want. A good quality uh, Zweihander would probably be quite expensive stain. It would be very difficult to store. That thing is giant. There's like 185 centimeters of sword. Rikard honestly might be my favorite boss just because of the goddamn cutscenes. Just because together I exist, Rikard might be my favorite boss. I who is the voice actor for Rikard even? Did you ever do that bingo tournament thing? I watched Bushi do it and he didn't like it. Why didn't he like bingo? Bushi did a lot of bingo stuff. Why didn't he like it? Bingo is fun. But you can't really do that thing. You need to be, like... From what I know, the, the way you compete in bingo is by being friends with Captain Domo. There's no, like, entrance. <laughs> or something like that. Uh, Valkyrie, what's up? Simon Gregor. Nice. Speedrunning races are more interesting for me than bingo races, guys, honestly. I, I like when people just randomize a seed and speedrun it. And then compete who's gonna do it faster. That, that, that kind of... Dismounter. That kind of uh, setting I really, really enjoy more than, like, bingo. Like, just doing random achievements. Bingo is more interesting for, like, Minecraft, in my opinion. Uh, Duan. Duan. Duan? Duan? Thanks for the compliment, man. Bro, these giants need to stop fucking screaming at me. Your favorite boss is the family man, yeah. The family man is my favorite boss fight. There is immediately a new tower over here, nice. Wait, if Stormbell has changed that much, is Margit still at the beginning? Uh, I have no memory of this place. So this is not the way you enter Stormbell. 
We have to be at the store with guys. What is this shit? Uh, open the gates, please. How is it nice to have a gate that is not Malania? Shame Raikard is not voice acted by Vin Diesel. <laughs> I imagine vo imagine Vin Diesel <laughs> voice acting Raikard. <laughs> that would be interesting to see. There's probably some AI of that. Vin Diesel, Deacons of the Deep. Diesels of the Deep, Raikard. Something like that. Bye bye, my boy. Where are the hot fields over here? I like the redesign. The long tunnel to Stormwave was a little bit boring, I agree with that one. Raikard probably ate Vin Diesel, maybe. Uh, let's actually go two. If they developed way too fast and stressful and not as fun as a normal randomizer. Uh, oh, fair enough. But he, he, he probably shares the same opinion as, as me as well. I like randomizers where you just beat the game. I don't really like bingo. Bingo to me is... Uh, bleh. I don't have anything against it, but I don't find it interesting to watch, in my opinion. Sometimes it can be fun, but most of the time I didn't find it too fun. Alright. Beginning boss fight. Uh, Margit. Right? Margit is not changed, right? Margit is Margit. Margit is always going to be Margit. Seems a little bit more tanky. Ah, uh, yeah, the, he, they did make him more tanky, if I remember correctly. They made him more tanky and removed the... Remove the frame trap attacks. So no more frame trapping by Margit. But Margit is weak to bleed. Right. I want to go into Stormville, Margit. You're barring my way. I like the ranged options on this build. They're quite cool. What's up? So the amount of FP needed for a build like this is insanity. Stab! Now we go Blood Flame Outburst immediately! Nice. Come here. Oh. What I wanted to do is be careful here. He can combo me into death right now. Oh. Need Blood Flame Outburst here immediately, boys. Blood Flame Outburst. Definitely fighting boss fights like this is much cooler than just having like a melee weapon. I like incorporating melee and spells in my in my, my casual playthroughs. Just doing melee is always a little bit boring for me. It's much better though when you do like a challenge on melee. Bad dodge timing, bad dodge timing. We have still Sanguine Pool. Give me that juicy health, please. Give me that beautiful health, Margit. I'm basically invincible with spell now. <laughs> okay, now you die. We gotta finish you off with a Blood Flame Outburst. GG, well played. I like these spells, they're kind of fun to use. I like Blood Flame spells a lot. A little bit of revamping from the Convergence mod does, it, does them wonders, in my opinion. Especially with a randomizer. Randomizer runs are always super fun, Freak Master. I haven't done a randomizer run where it wasn't fun and challenging at the same time. We'll do definitely on this channel uh, Deathless All Bosses Randomizer. Definitely we'll do that. Uh, I need more FP, actually. Shame that you can't play it on PS5, unfortunately. Yeah. Unfortunately, PS5 players gotta buy a PC. For the convergence mode. Uh, remnant crafting. Nothing here too interesting. What's your viewer demographics like? What do you mean, Stain? Why, why do you want to know my viewer demographics? Uh, you take the guess, like... All English channel demographics are basically Americans. Like, Americans are, like, most view... Like, they, they give me the most views from, like, YouTube videos. And then, think I Brit and then I think British and the German, I think. Then, like, everything else. 
Ah, you little bastard. You are not gonna be left alive anymore. Like, last time you stole half my runes. Please open the gate, and then you die. I'll play Blood Flame Outburst immediately. Oh, there is a Ballista at the gate, what the hell. Bend the mod update! <laughs> the mod updated, uh, I think, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, nothing to see here, guys. Just a couple of Blood Flame Outbursts. Bro, imagine this death. <laughs> he has 4,000 HP. He has more... E he, this guy has more HP than Gwyn, the final boss in Dark Souls 1. That is crazy. That is absolutely crazy. Why does this guy have so much HP? Let's actually go around, guys. I always feel... Nah, nah, nah. You, you, you must not feel bad for Gastog, guys. Gastog is a bastard. He is 100% a bastard. No need to feel bad for him. Alright, so we go over here. Why can't I use this? Uh... Why is this not usable game? What is happening? Is it now usable? Strength doesn't multiply? What is happening? Wait, wait, what? Let me test it on a... Let me test it on an enemy. Where are the birds? Birds! Yeah, it doesn't work. What the hell? Why is strength not usable? Like, I have 9 strength. I, sh I should be having more, right? Or is my math not correct? I should not be having more. No. I require one more strength. My math is... <laughs> I should go back to high school, I think. <laughs> I have like 13 strength when I dual heal. I need to dual hand, actually. I need one more strength. Yeah, Gastok steals your runes, guys. Always kill Gastok. If you plan to do anything in Stormvale. Always a good idea. Dio is here? Dio is always here. There's a bird. Come here, bird. And bye-bye, bird. Good fight. Lovely birds, yeah. Uh, the new update renewed many double and single strength multiplier, but those who only late the game weapons. Huh? Interesting. So there are different... By the way, one question. Did they change Godfrey's axe in this in this Convergence mode? Godfrey's axe is a very cool weapon, but it's very shit in base game. So I'm actually kind of curious if it's changed in this, in this mode. Like, we require a better Godfrey's axe, honestly, guys. Place that... Let's continue. Another one of Marika's children? Yeah, for sure. He has red hair, guys. So that means it's Marika's child. Or Radagon's child or whatever. Bro, jumping in this place is probably not the wisest decision even for you. Especially because I have blood flame. Hoggers. That knight did not... That knight was not here in base game. Do I have a goal for 2024? Uh, goal for what? I, I'm i not the type of guy who sets goals, Antonio. I just do things that I like and that's basically it. I don't have any goals, like, long term. And, uh, okay. <laughs> Alright. Red hair, yellow eyes, the flame of the forge. The Flame of the Forge. Hmm. Could be a Fire Giant offspring. Dream Master, what's up? I did see the DLC trailer. We all saw the DLC trailer, don't worry. You really think we would be streaming here without witnessing the DLC trailer first? Well. These guys... 
Honestly, banished knights are very cool enemy design in my opinion. No! I can't blood flame outburst here, boys. What the hell? Hello guys. What's happening? It might be Mikala after the former's mother gives her what he wanted, an adult form. Bro, what is what if that is the former's mother, guys? Ooh. That is a good theory. That is a good theory, MVW. What if that is the formless mother? Like, it would make sense for the formless mother to appear because we are we are combining not just Nikola, but Mo as well in this situation. Mo definitely had an influence on Nikola. 100%. Something had to have happened between the two. Now we are talking. This is the blood flame outburst that I want. Burn! Rykard's child? Well, we have another theory. <laughs> the amount of theories that have sprung up immediately from, like, one goddamn trailer is baffling. I will blood flame outburst the entire world. Bye-bye. Place has already changed because there is not supposed to be a staircase over here. Hook claws are pretty good weapons. Oh. By the way, are you guys aware that this place is a wine cellar? Why are you flying from the top of the world? How many of you guys know that this place is actually a wine cellar? Like the barrels here that explode are actually wine. Or at least are combined with one in some way or another. Oh. What is that over there? Throwing dagger is absolutely useless. Pretty cool fact. It is. Uh, it's actually a fact I learned from Fextra Life because I was. Searching for some items, and then... Uh, yeah, this place is actually a wine cellar, <laughs> which is kind of cool. Which also makes sense. Kind of. Not sure if these changes I already witnessed in my last playthrough of this. Bye-bye. And... Bye-bye. Yeah, this is definitely changed from the last time. I don't remember this. Trying to launch convergence. Uh, uh, that happened to me actually to uh, today, another Meyer. But I just reinstalled Elden Ring, removed all the previous mods that I have and mod engine as well, and then it worked. Like it seems to me that reinstalling Elden Ring is the best way to install conver convergence mod on top of it, especially with you tamper with the game files. Like the same thing happened to me. Like I tried to launch Elden Ring, like convergence mod today, it didn't work. Reinstall the entire game and went for it. The convergence mod is very well designed as a mod. So if it doesn't work, most likely you messed up the game file somehow. That would be my guess. Uh, why is that not a... I hate backstabs in this game. Like, backstab in this game are literally cuck. Just don't work properly. Come on. Can I sanguine pull you? Come here, please. <laughs> Jesus Christ, who's throwing shit at me? But they're everywhere. Gastox are everywhere in this place. Give me a key. Uh, you know what awaits you, my friend. <laughs> Blood flame out. There'll be like four hours with my Wi-Fi, yeah. I know. Honestly, if you're playing, <laughs> I remember the days when I actually wasn't connected to the to the to the internet service provider directly. When I actually needed to use Wi-Fi to to use the internet, <laughs> those those were horrible days. 
I actually wonder if any streamer ever is trying to stream off of, like, Wi-Fi. Oh, there's a Grace here. Do not remember that, but it makes sense. What happened, Stain, that you wasn't able to work out? <coughs> What else has changed? Godric is the same, if I remember correctly. I would really like if they made Godric fight a little bit more interesting. Godric, Godric fight is good, but... Could be definitely spiced up with a couple of, like... Misbegottens in the arena, maybe. Uh, why is this filled with... Why is this blocked? Okay, immediate new changes, guys. Uh, yeah. Why is this blocked? Where do I go? What the hell? Do I need to go to the front gate? Okay, the motivators are definitely screwing me over here. There is a grace over here. But the way forward is blocked. What's your current... Uh, download speed is like... 100, 200, something like that. The upload speed is a little bit slow. It's like 20 megabytes per second. As a streamer, you should probably have more upload speed, in my opinion, but... You take what you can get! Ugh! Alright, let's go to the front gate, then. If I can't continue from this place, I will continue through the front gate. Uh, this will not be a vid, no, no, no. I'm just doing it for fun. Uh, HXH. Because I wanted to see a couple of the changes they made. But no, I already, I already did a Convergence mod video. I don't plan to do another one. For more than my... That's true, yeah. It's definitely better than Wi-Fi 100%, guys. But yeah, it's the sword house. It's definitely better than Wi-Fi. But it's not enough for a streamer. Because streaming actually requires a lot of, like... Upload speed if you want to do a little bit more quality. Like, um... Like, video quality-wise. It's not gonna grab me. Are the ballistas active or is there just one big one here? Oh. That's a lot of damage though. This place is entirely changed. Alright. More enemies. Tell me there is a grace over there, please. Oh! You know what? The now I remember actually. Now that I'm actually going through Stormwell Castle. Uh, one thing I want from the DLC, I want storm spells. Because there is technically storm magic or wind magic in this game already. In the base game. But for some reason there are no, like, spells. There are only ashes of war. So I would actually kind of like to see, like, wind spells. But I don't know which, which category of spell would that even fall under it. Could be anything. Wind spells, and I want more, uh... Godslayer spells as well. That would be very, very nice to have. The enemies here are annoy you, yeah. Summon a tornado. There is a convergence mod DS3 spell that summons a tornado. Actually, Freak Master, it was completely busted. <laughs> oh my god. That hurt. Can I jump up there, please? Smitting stones. Uh, size pa, size space. Thanks for following. Okay, where the hell do we go over here? Okay, this place entirely changed. Assassin, what's up? This place is entirely different. Where do I even start? Oh. I gotta go check out the Godskin Matriarch, guys. <clears throat> can I go into the Divine Tower of Lyurnia immediately, or do, you, or do I need to get that important item first, before I can go fight the boss fight? I would like to end on that note. I just lost the game. Good game. Chappers, what's up? Oh. You have no fucking clue? Okay, cheat engine it is. <laughs> if you guys don't know, we will cheat our way in. For content. I've seen the Lake of Road changes, yes. Mm, I like this path into Stormvale actually quite a lot. 
But I also don't have all the time in the world, guys. Some oh my god. Bye bye. Oh my god. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Just let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Bye 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 bye. You can all corraddle down there. I don't care. Oh nice. We got a grace. All right. Stormvale is entirely changed, which I really do like. I feel like... Uh, okay, even more changes over here. Oh my god. I want to check out... Oh shit, what, where did you come from? Let's go check out... Oh, they can climb ladders, Toto. <laughs> Blood flame outburst, boys. Oh, and the other... I forgot they can climb ladders, and they are still going to die. You don't need any prep. We can just go into Godskin Matriarch immediately. Okay, let's go. Let's go do that right now. I know Godric isn't changed, so I want to see the new boss fight. Mirian Dobbs the inverted statue. Okay, nice. Then we go back over here and another teleport into Lyurnia. I wish I learned how to use. Fun fact, guys: uh, pigs in Minecraft can climb ladders. You do that. You would do whatever you want with that information. First playthrough, Stormvale was help for me. Stormvale is pretty tough. Yeah, I agree. Stormvale is pretty, pretty, pretty tough. Ah, uh, Leonia, right? East Limgrave, Weeping Peninsula, West Kaelic. We need West Leonia, right? Stop drawing mind-blowing trivia. I won't. I watch too many YouTube's video, YouTube videos to drop uh, trivia. Stream is glitching. For me, it's not. Stream looks fine by me when it comes to the phone. All right, wait. That is West Lyrnia. Okay, I'm an idiot. We need East Lyrnia. Where is East Lyrnia? Bro, I can't see. <laughs> East Caled, West Lyonia, South Lyonia. Is it South Lyonia? Let's go South Lyonia. That means pigs can kill me in my sleep? What? <laughs> How does that mean that? Must be me, sorry, not really. I did have I did have problems before with like stream glitching and stuff. Like quite a lot because I was setting the wrong bitrate information. So currently what I'm doing is I'm watching the stream on my phone as I'm doing the stream so I can always check for any for any problems. Alright, let's go to Godskin Matriarch, right? Let's see how that is going to go. By the way, I started a new Minecraft Hardcore World. Uh, finally managed to find a good one. And hopefully I will not die in this one in Hardcore and lose like 30 hours of progress. This time, the Wither Skeletons will not see me at all. I will just snipe them from a distance. But after this, I'm probably gonna... What the hell? Oh, oh crap. But after this, I'm probably gonna go play some Lies of P. I need to actually finish that game. I, I, I do no progress in that game because I'm busy doing other stuff. Beware of the bony man, yeah. Toto Minecraft streamer? Nah. I did say Punisher that I should have probably become a Minecraft streamer before I become a Soul streamer. That would be that would be make my life so much easier, honestly. Minecraft is such a content game. It really if you like the game, obviously. Definitely play Lies of Peak here and it's very good. Where can we watch you play the hardcore world? Nowhere. I will not stream every single game in existence, guys. That is not gonna happen. Half of the Abaran. Ah, this is the Abaran place, that's right. Here's a good tip for you guys. Never stream every single... Like, pick games, like a genre of games that you like. Stream those games. Everything less you play by yourself. That way you can actually talk about something when you do the streams. It's a very good tip. If you stream every single game... Uh, the streams that you, you do will probably be very boring because there's no way you're gonna find enough content to talk about or enough interesting topics to talk about. It's already hard like it is already. Like this already, I mean. 
Also, I don't know about you guys, but now that, like, winter is slowly going away, like, spring is coming, like, allergies are killing the fuck out of me. Like, they're getting so annoying. He's dying in his world sword. <laughs> Honestly, I, I really don't know if I can actually ever go back to playing like normal survival Minecraft anymore. Survival Minecraft is just way too easy, like. When you can die an infinite amount of times, like, what is the point even? In my opinion. I'll probably replay like Subnautica again, like hardcore as well. Just because I really, really want to play Subnautica again as well. Alright, Karian Study Hall. Let's see the Godski Matriarch in action. I suspect that this place has also changed quite a bit. I play with two mods, Queen America. I play with the airplane mod and the better ships mod. So I have more easier ways to traversal. But no other mods, no. <coughs> like, uh, I have two very cool mods. I need to kill Miriam, right? Ah, Miriam, 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 you fucking bastard. I hate you so much. Love flame outburst. I hate Miriam, guys. Miriam sucks. Miriam can go suck a dick. Bro, how do you even kill Miriam? I forgot he teleports everywhere. Oh, no. Miriam teleports to the top of the of, of this place and then we need to chase him around. I forgot that. How do I kill Miriam? Miriam has to be my least favorite NPC besides Gideon, of course. Gideon sucks more, but Miriam is a close second. I really hate Miriam. Godskin Matriarch is the hardest boss. Uh, I've seen some gameplay footage, gameplay footage of the Matriarch, but... Oh my god, I hate Miriam so much. How the hell do I kill this guy? Perceptor outfit, nice. Miriam, my boy, where are you? You're over there. Here we go. Soul Reed, what's up? Subnautica is like a mini horror game. Yeah, Subnautica is an accidental horror game, yeah. Like Bloodborne. Like Bloodborne, Subnautica is an accidental horror game, which is kind of like... I hate you, Miriam. How do I kill Miriam? What is the easiest way to kill Miriam, guys? I think ranged attacks, right? There is no way we're getting close to Miriam. Also, these guys don't bleed. Miriam is a goddamn teleporting bastard. I hate teleporting enemies in these games. Teleporting games are the bane of my existence. Wait, Miriam is a she? I thought Miriam is a he. The Perceptors are general dicks, I... You might be right. You might have a point there. How do I kill this guy then? Not bad. Can I hit you? Why is he dodging it? He is dodging it! God damn it, Miriam. God fucking damn it, Miriam. G just give me the inverted onion ring already, please. Let me just agree that Miriam needs to be removed from the game. Okay. Next mod I make removes Miriam as well, 100%. Why do you have a goddamn battalion of minions around you? What is this shit? No! Which dagger to say is the best? The best dagger is the Earth Steel Dagger, KG. Definitely the best dagger. Earth Steel Dagger. Uh, if you don't want to make a bleed build, by the way, but if you want to make a bleed build, then Reduvia and Bandit Dagger, probably. <laughs> the best dagger is the Chris. Uh, sure, for an intelligence build, yes. I agree, but the Chris is kind of boring, in my opinion. It's not really a dagger. The only reason why Chris is good is because of the weapon art. But without the weapon art, the, the dagger is not too good. That's why I like the Earth Steel daggers. 
Yeah, we're using fire bleed, yeah. Blood flame. Uh, I would give Miyazaki $100 to remove Miriam from the goddamn game. Can I just blood flame him into submission here, guys? Nope. He teleports, he doesn't even give a fuck. He teleports and he does not give a fuck. Do I like rapiers? Not particularly. Not really much of a rapier fan. Blade, Miriam, blade! My favorite weapon currently in Elden Ring are uh, the Magma Sword. The one that is very hard to farm. The Earth Steel Dagger, the Dark Pool Greatsword, and the and the Health and Steeple, or whatever it's called. Those are my favorite weapons currently. All of them are amazing. Ruin's Greatsword is also there, and the God Slayer Greatsword as well. Best dagger is... The parrying dagger in this game sucks, Sagan, honestly. The parrying dagger is a disappointment, in my opinion. The parrying dagger really does a bad job at parrying, which is kind of the whole point of the dagger at the end of the day. Till now, I haven't fought her. Miriam, you mean? I mean, he's not a, he's, she's not a required fighter. Alright, now we chase Miriam again. Or we die. It's also a valid option. Hate you, Miriam! He's using the goddamn minions to body block for him. I hate you, Miriam. I honestly just hate you. Okay, why did I not dodge that? The parrying dagger, I tried parrying with the parrying dagger a little bit, but it's very hard. Parrying dagger is very bad at parrying. Can you bleed, Miriam, please? Thank you! Bleed, bleed. The fact that these spells take away your health is very concerning. Die! Please tell me you give me the inverted statue. Yeah, there you go. Back to the grace, boys. Study whole entrance. Let's check out the Godskin Matriarch. At least health doesn't reset, thankfully, yeah. Blade of Beehole. <laughs> Thanks for the follow, man. Alright. Out here. Uh, QG, thanks for the follow. Oh, wait, another Miriam. I fucking hate the receptors in this game. <laughs> Can we please remove these types of enemies, music? Thoughts on the DLC are pretty good, currently. DLC looks very good. I like it a lot. Can't wait for it to come out, so on and so forth. I have no I know special thoughts currently. Need to watch the DLC trailer a couple more times for that. Whoa. Don't care about you guys, I'm only here for the boss fight. Yeah. What? Miriam! Wait, this is not Miriam, this is another preceptor. Fuck you. I actually have a suspicion, Mythical, that Mikala is not going to be a boss fight in, like, the DLC. Helveti, what's up, by the way? I have a feeling that Mikala is actually not going to be a boss fight. Unless the red-haired guy is Mikala. I don't think we're actually going to fight Mikala in the DLC. Mikala might be an NPC. Kid, thanks for the follow. Bro, just getting to the Godskin Matriarch is annoying. Why did they have to- Why did they have to place him in this goddamn tower? Mikula being a quest NPC would be kinda cool. Please go away. Oh, this is Miriam. Bro, what is this place? What have I entered? <laughs> After hell. 
Oh my god. We need to blood flame outburst him immediately, guys. Mikela will be some exchange for Melina. That could also make sense, Cadix, because we did lose Melina at the end of the game, right? That could make a lot of sense. I feel like DLC is just going to be another game. I, I don't think this is going to be a DLC, honestly, for Elden Ring. It's going to be another game. What the fuck? Bro, this... The goddamn spell that this guy uses. Insane tracking, honestly. Crazy tracking. It's just the worst possible combination of enemies ever created. What the fuck? Get me out of this bullet hell. Great, thanks for the follow. Just get me out of this bullet hell. This is why you need to level Vigor, guys, every single time you do a playthrough. Just shut up and level your Vigor. Unfortunately, we need to level other things to check out a couple of the spells. You have to be kidding me. I don't accept this death. <laughs> it is supposed to be 60... No way. No way the DLC is 60 gigabytes, guys. There's no way. Or Melina is Mikala, okay. If Melina is Mikala, then we have some problems. <laughs> I want to level Dex. Get out of my chat, gamer, immediately. We don't level Dex in this chat. <laughs> we only level Strength. Didn't I showcase you that Strength is the best stat? Alright, Godskin Matriarch time, right? Godskin Matriarch is at the top of the tower, right? Dex cringe, yeah. Level Strength and Faith. You're l l yeah, Strength and Faith is the best thing to level. I agree. Faith is always more fun, in my opinion, than Intelligence. Painting Rewards Challenge on now. Painting Rewards Challenge on is not difficult. That's cool, but it's not difficult. Is Convergence good? Very good, Nick. Very, very good. I love this mod. Oh! The entire tower is changed! Oh, poggers. Look at this shit. The entire goddamn tower has been completely changed. Oh, I need to fight my way to the Godskin Matriarch. This is, this is like climbing the gates of Baradur, Jesus Christ. Or like climbing the tower of Baradur, what am I saying, not the gates. Sauron is at the top of there. I just need a Sauron boss fight, honestly, guys. I need a Sauron slash Morgoth boss fight. Like a black, like black dude. Like a dude in black armor wielding a goddamn thunder-infused mace or something like that. That's what I need. Okay. No time for you guys, I need to find the Godskin Matriarch. You must earn the right to fight her. What, by climbing the tower? Thankfully, every enemy in this game can be avoided very easily. This is not Demon Souls. But if you try to run past enemies, you will die. There is a similar boss in this mod. There is a Sauron boss fight at Leyendel. The DLC was perfect to me as well, Nig. Black... <laughs> I wanted to say a black dude, but uh, then I rechanged my wording to say guy in black armor. You should have seen the inside. The elevator is broken. Interesting. Wait, can you go to the bottom of the Divine Tower or just go to the top with this one? Eh? This one now. I like this. Climbing a tower like this is very good. I bet almost right now. I don't think saying a black dude is racist, guys. I'm pretty sure that's just a description of a black dude. The only black dude in the series is Manus. 
Manus might be my favorite boss from the like besides Artorias, Ma I think Manus is the best boss fight in DS3. Uh, in DS1, excuse me. I think Manus as a boss fight is just absolutely epic. The furtive I know I know he's not the furtive pygmy, but he kind of is. The embodiment of the dark soul. Like four kings and Manus are like goddamn epic boss fights, in my opinion. Just because you fight one of them in literally the abyss, and the other one in the chasm of the abyss. Tell that to the judge. Oh my god, are you not going to leave me alone? Can I get a break, Miyazaki? I just want to go to the Godskin Matriarch. Also, that's a nice weapon. I hate the way to him. Yeah, that's true. That that's the problem with every DS1 boss helmet. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh. Back up we go. <laughs> she can eat me. <laughs> Quelag is pretty cool, yeah. Quelag is an interesting boss fight because she's way harder than any other boss fight up until that point. Quelag, very good though. Yeah, if DS1 had Steiko Marika, it would be the best game ever created, Punisher, I agree. If DS1 needs only a couple fixes, if they ever make a remake for DS1, DS1 only needs a couple of fixes and it's the best game ever created. Fix the end game a little bit. Uh, or after the Lord Vessel, and uh, add stakes of America and GG. Well played. Like, if only Isolate, like, if the, if, the, if the latter part of the game, like, after the Lord Vessel was a little bit revamped, best game ever. Like, a Convergence, convergence mod for DS1 would be amazing. Bro. That would be absolutely amazing. Why is there no Convergence for DS1, guys, by the way? Ah, my cats are again body slamming against my door. Because they... ...want food. Where is the goddamn elevator, Miyazaki? Uh, Sanguine Poop? Okay, thank you much. Didn't I activate the elevator? Hold on. There is Daughters of Ash. Daughters of Ash is not a uh, convergence though. Daughters of Ash is definitely the best mode for this one, I agree. I need to actually play it one. Once on stream. I did play before on stream, but that was when I had like three viewers. That was the first time I played Daughters of Ash. I need to actually replay it again, because there are there is not too many videos on Daughters of Ash for some reason. But Daughters of Ash needs more attention, in my opinion. <laughs> yeah, it's true, gamer. Uh, the entirety of Isolith is basically just a disappointment, but... You gotta be disappointed sometimes. No way you can be happy all the time. But this time I'm quitting out over there. Alright. And goodbye. Bro, <laughs> my cats are... Uh, you, Fortunately, you can't hear that, but I can hear my cats through the door, through the headphones, and I can still hear them very <laughs> loudly and clearly that they are just slamming the door. <laughs> oh my god, cats are so funny when they're hungry. Nice. They want the bread, yeah. They want it. They want it. Oh my god! Will you please, Miyazaki? Leave me alone. No more jump scares, please. They No, no, they don't miss me. They just want the food. Okay, Godskin Matriarch, let's go. Divine Tower of Lyurnia. Godskin Matriarch. I love how the flames. Let's see a little bit of the moveset. 
That's a cool moveset. That's definitely unique. I like that. I like that they are adding boss fights that are not on the main path as well. That is very cool. Can I backstab you? 2,500. Jesus Christ, how much, H how much HP do you have? How much HP do you have, my woman? This is a difficult boss fight. Very complicated, Jesus. Definitely smash. Yeah, it's a little bit over our pay grade today, guys. It seems like a very difficult boss fight, my opinion. Oh. We can maybe Blood Flame Outburst her. Let me try a couple more times. I like this. A very unique boss fight. Toto the DLC trailer drop. I know Dark, uh, Dark One. I know. She has a second phase. Of course she has. What do you think? I didn't ex didn't expect a second phase. Trust me. I always expect second phase in these types of games. Always. Otherwise, that way you never be bamboozled. Bleed. I can only beat you with bleed today. I don't have any other way. My weapons are unupgraded. I feel like the DLC is still a little bit too easy because the DLC, the, the convergence mode is still a little bit too easy. My weapons are unupgraded. They're pretty good, cool. pretty good damage, honestly. It's not bad damage. That is second phase. She's using the curse mark of death. Oh, that is very cool. Oh, she took death into her hands. Oh, who came up with this boss? This is Pog. This is very cool. Who came up with this guy? Or her? Or whatever. Is that? Oh, that is very cool. Oh my god, she has so much damage. She does way too much damage, guys. Way too much damage. She's too fast. This is way above our pay grade for today. <laughs> okay. This boss fight is fucking cool. I like it. I very much like it. Jesus Christ. What does she give you? She probably gives you like God Slayer stuff, right? Frida's moveset. Yes. Frida. Yeah, it actually is Frida's moveset. It's cool. That actually is cool. Guys, I'm going to call it today. I think we've seen enough updates from this mod, I think. This is going to stay live, by the way, so you can always rewatch it if you have any interest in it. But I'm going to go watch the DLC trailer a couple more times right now. I also need to feed the cats. And then I'm gonna play some Lies of P because I need to fucking finish that game already. That, that is my current plan. Uh, no stream on Friday, by the way. I already told you that, guys. I'm out of town that way. And... Uh, I love how Queen Marika just goes absolutely insane. I might just... Queen Marika, I might just shadow ban you while you're not looking. <coughs> details about the DS surface area will be larger than the limb grave. Where did you get the details, Blackbone? Structure is similar to the base game with the bus. Huh. Okay, I'll, I'll ask you later. Twitter? Okay, I'm going to Twitter then. Guys, I'm getting the hell out of here. Have a good rest, morning, evening, afternoon, whatever you have. And I'll see you on Monday with probably Eldering speedrunning, guys. That's what's gonna happen. Bye, guys.